All right. Scott, just inform me. I can't talk to the band. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, if you want, I'll just move to this seat. I'll get the wireless. Right. Hey, get the wireless. Right. Good work. Once again. <laughs> once again, never disappointing me. And Gary says, oh, well, then I'll move them to seats, never thinking of the wireless. Why do we have all this equipment? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. I really apologize. Hey, I got the band live here with me. Great band. You know, the thing they say about live is this. Uh, alternative, uh, what would you call you guys, like alternative music? I don't know. Oh, if, you, yeah. if you're going to label it. You know what? Yeah. Wait a second. Here, here's a, let me see if I can get this microphone it's up. It's on. Does it work? Let's see. Let me use that. Hello. Yeah. I talk to all you guys, but we don't have the microphone set up. We're, we're only owned by CBS Broadcasting. We can't seem to get that together. I said to Scott all morning, I'm going to be able to talk to the band. He goes, yes. oh, yes. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. <laughs> it will happen. This it happened to Sticks. I remember that show. That's right. Yeah. You see? And look where they went. <laughs> and look what happened to them. Anyway, uh, here's the deal. Like, you know... What the, do they say about live? Okay, there's like a lot of... Like the core bands who started alternative music, live being one of them, but all the bands have dropped off. And live is one of the few core bands left. Soundgarden gone, Nirvana gone, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, I think it looks like they might have broken up. We don't know. I think the other guys started a, a new group. Yeah, they're singing with some... I mean, they're playing with somebody, somebody else. else. Yeah. And, uh, like, live, that's it, right? Uh, and Pearl Jam, maybe. Mm. It's true? You know, Am I right? Smashing Pumpkins. Still oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Going strong. Sticks. <laughs> Sticks is still going strong. <laughs> that's right. But, I mean, uh, I know that we have, we're on a lot of alternative stations around the country, mm -hmm. and uh, live being here is a very big deal, so thanks for coming here, guys. Hey, thanks for I really like that. All right. Very nice. I saw the, uh, and uh, you guys are from York, Pennsylvania, all of you? All of us. Who wow. ever heard of music coming out of York? Uh, <laughs> yeah, not a hotbed. But, not a hotbed at all. But you never know where it's going to come from. That's true. And you guys went to high school uh, together? We all met in junior high, actually, yeah. It's been, and we, Did we've you been start a garage band and stuff like that? Yeah, it was a garage thing yeah. for a long time. And your parents probably thought you were schmucks for practicing all the time. Oh, and I skipped college, and that was real bad. Oh, that was real bad. Yeah, that was like... World War III. Yeah, we never should have brought him that guitar. Yeah, we had the insane clown posse here. They said, look, our parents couldn't even afford to send us to college, so we just dropped out of high school. Uh, what, no, we dropped out, out of elementary school. We dropped out of sixth grade because we knew we weren't going to college, and we already knew how to read what was left. <laughs> We're going to waste our time. we got to go out and make money. Now they're millionaires. There you go. You guys are millionaires, right? Uh, you, or is you it know, not cool to say that? It's not alternative. That's no. not alternative to no. say no. that. No. I'll say it for you. It was a long time ago, we didn't get paid to do this. You mean that we can get paid? Yeah, you get paid. You get paid well. You guys were at Woodstock, right? I remember that. Yeah, but we opened the show. We were like Friday night. We were like the warm up PA PA warm up band. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised to hear that. That was a freebie. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Scott's they over don't there. Get paid. Scott, the engineers over there, like talking loves, at the top yeah. of his lungs and you know and trying to get the thing what working. Are you doing? What are you doing, man? Now it's distract. Now it's too late to get it working. Now it's too late, Scott. Scott, it's too late. The you band want is the on. Band the... to play? I got to figure out how to how to get it. But oh, you mean you can't even get the band on the oh, air? The whole feed. <laughs> you can't get the whole band on the air. <laughs> What's the hurry? No hurry. Oh my god. You gosh. have to play through this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, get closer. It Scott, would be a concert it could have called it in. Can I interview you? What goes wrong? Seriously, what goes wrong? I don't know, Howard. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't here all night to set it up. When I checked it before, it was there was an output. Do you from think we console. should get a new engineer who can do this yeah, kind why of stuff? Yeah, fire me. I mean, you know, that's ridiculous. Could you resign so we don't even have to, like, you know, fire <laughs> no, you? No, I won't resign. No, you you won't have resign. to fire me. But you got to admit, every time we have a band in here, something goes wrong. No, not every time. No, most of the time when you're not involved, time. it works. <laughs> yeah. It makes me nervous that Scott's now trying to fix the equipment while I get the band here. My game plan was to already have you guys play in the first song. That was my game plan. And now you got Scott crawling under your console. That's not how you pictured your life. This show is never good. There's always something wrong. It's never wrong. tight. It's good, but it's never It's good, but not tight. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. It is good. I'm not going to get down on the whole That's show. That's right. And hey. Scott lumbers in here like Quasimodo. I mean, he's got a hump on his He's back. like a big, fat, bald guy who just comes in and goes, I don't know what's wrong. This is the whole oh, feed. Man. You want the band on the air? He's busy in the back eating cinnamon sticks because he quit smoking. <laughs> so he's like sucking on these disgusting... <laughs> pencil Did you see that? And he had a pencil in his mouth? <laughs> Scott quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> and now he's... Uh, Sucking cinnamon sticks and pencils. You know, the other day you asked him what kind of stress, like if your yeah. son something happens to your son, this kind of stress will send him back to smoke. Yeah, I wish he'd just start smoking again. I, he looked like he was ready to smoke again. Yeah. Just now. Yeah. You know that, because he doesn't get like that often. You just got him all riled up. Yeah. yeah. I, I got him riled it's up. It's not going to take no. much. You didn't, but mm -hmm. the situation did. 
Jesus Christ, I apologize, guys. I, I am I am really floored. They've been working on this all morning. No, all night. They got, they've been here since 9.30 last night. Yeah, but I'm just saying, oh, for go. what I've seen, they, everybody's been around all morning. Nobody knew this didn't work? I think we need a new engineer. I mean, Scott can still do the dumb stuff he does for us, but we need a guy who can actually set up the equipment for a band. So what's the problem, Scott? He's behind you now looking oh. at things. Scott, are you in over your head? Tell the truth. I'm not in over my head. It's just, it's two cables that go from there to there, and I can't, and that's it. That it should be working. It's... Well, is it working? This is, uh, do we have anything coming through the console? I don't know. How would I know? Check their mind. Howard, why is it different every time? I, yeah, well, I don't know who's different. It. It's the same who touches thing. my that's equipment. The, Howard, you got to understand something. We've got, we've got it down now to where Scott is only involvement is these guys come in and they set up all this equipment and they bring these boards and these wires and everything and they just give Scott a wire to you. Right. We took him out of everything else. Right. So, and he can't do that. Well, no. I don't know. I mean, he says there's something going on. I don't know. Does Richie know anything? Can he do it? Richie's not here. <laughs> As usual. Well, what do you suggest? Do I throw these guys out of here and not let them play? It's two cables, like plug it in like a like a, a CD player. Into okay. Board. That's well, it. My Can father, my father was a, a recording engineer. I know he's at home right now, like pulling what's yeah. left of the hair on his head out. Howard, can I make a suggestion? Could you trace the cables back to where the other plug is? Can we replace those cables quickly? Scott, do you have any game plan here for the band live? <laughs> I mean, this is a big deal. They're the I'll last be. core band left think? from alternative music. They're the and, only. And this could be it. Every this station could around be the country. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Now you'll go on to great things from here because nothing could be worse than this. <laughs> Scott, you just cut out my headphones. You just find out where the signal drops out, Scott. Come on. Even Jackie can fix it. Yeah, it's you like you plug in your guitar and you don't hear noise. You find out. You know what you asked Scott if it was over his head. And he goes, no. There's no head no. on my head. <laughs> but I can't make it work. <laughs> <laughs> I say he's in over his head. Are you guys getting depressed? I am. Um, this is entertaining, actually. I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're very honored to have live here. Obviously, we have a technical problem. Is anything being done about it? That's the question. Gary, give me an update, Howard, please. I'm floored about this, and all I can tell you is we have to take a commercial break is what they're all telling me. Yeah. And they're still looking for the problem. It worked a half an hour before we started, and suddenly it doesn't, and nobody can figure out why. And I apologize. All right. I'll, I'll schmooze Kim, then. We'll go Somebody do some... Somebody kicked something. God damn it. How anticlimactic. The problem with firing someone over this is you got to pay, pay unemployment. That's what stinks. You know? Right. Why should we have to pay unemployment for, for people's incompetence? Right. right. That's what we have our problem with our road crew. Well, you guys aren't that alternative. You're pretty, uh, pretty good yeah, businessmen. Yeah, they're firing people. <laughs> yeah, you're firing people. We're sitting around in New York doing all these like business courses. That's what we're doing all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll go, I'll go schmooze Kim while you guys try and get the equipment working. Scott's you're wearing a bra. You're not even wearing a bra. Wow. Wow. No panties. Yeah, I have panties. No, oh, you can take those off when I dance with you. <laughs> I need easy access. You got to figure it out, Scott? No, I don't have it. Yeah, don't. Uh, I don't have to be Kreskin to figure ah, out that answer. Man. No, I'm a beaten man. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just take a break, and when we come back, we should be listening to a live concert from live right after these words. Ow. Yeah, baby. All right. So now we're back. We've been struggling with our equipment for the last... How long, Robin? Well, the commercial break was what? About, well, we were struggling before, so I'd say for like 10 or 15 minutes. Right. We've been struggling with equipment. Yeah. Which is typical, though. Every time we have a band on, I can't think of a time that we've had a band on where we didn't struggle with the equipment, quite frankly. Um, it was Bon Jovi, but they paid everyone from A to Z. Right. All their guys. And then everything worked. Well, no, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's... So Scott wasn't involved. It was the same thing as... as what was now. that? It was exactly the same thing we're doing now. Exactly. When you deal Scott out of the mix, I'm telling you. I don't remember you being involved with Bon Jovi. We never saw you that morning. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Now, let me, let, let me see if I can hear you now. Just check. Can you hear this? Uh-oh. I don't think so. I don't think... I don't think that's going... That I'm go not hearing that in my headphones. No. Yeah, me neither. Call me nutty. Maybe it just doesn't come through the headphones. Is that what you're telling us? Scott, Scott I'm going to throw you out a window. I'm going to go out and listen. Like, tune in. And... Oh, man. <laughs> I can't do a radio show like this. <laughs> I say you're not going out over the air, but... And then, and of course, the road managers also tell me we're getting a lot of crackle. Have the guys talk. I'm outside listening. Yeah, okay, talk. Hey, we're talking. Talk. Hey, we're talking. Hey, all right. Say, talk. uh, the Easy Beasy Spider. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just Wait, say, how it to Can you, can, can you guys hear us? Can you turn down their monitors for a second and just so we can hear if it's just their voices? Okay. Check one two. Can you hear this? We gotta get this out. Hey, it's working. It's hey, it's working. It's working. Cool. Uh, I don't know. It's because just working. Before they were just bleeding through. 
You All right. Mike okay. Okay. Oh, good. Now, while it's working, let's do it quick. <laughs> Sing like uh, a. Now hold it a second. Let's do. Uh, what song are we gonna do first? I just started getting worked up with Scott, the engineer. And you know what? Whenever you bet against him, you win. Well, there you go. Right. Bet him. He says the Indians are going to win. That means the Yankees are going to win. Yankees are a shoo -in. If Scott says the Indians are going to win, it's a sure sign. It affects the odds. The only way I know is if he bet it. If he bet it. Well, then bet him, because yeah. then the Yankees will win. Yeah, Scott, you want to bet? I'll only bet Scott. Oh. How much does he want to bet? I don't have any money. I love taking his money. Probably about five bucks. I can't bet. Got bit of the DJ business. If you had bet me off the air, my wife wouldn't know. <laughs> now I can't. Got been in the DJ business ten years and hasn't made a penny yet. Yeah, I don't buy that. <laughs> he's always telling me how he's Why not making any money. Why would he keep doing it? Because <laughs> I'm an other. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so fat. He is fat. Oh, he's gotten so fat. fat. <laughs> Since you quit smoking, you got fatter and fatter. How much you weigh now? Let me take a guess. Let's bet on how much Scott weighs. Okay, I'm going to go uh, 245. Do you know for a fact, or are you just you're guessing? I'm going to say... guy. I'm going to say... Jeez. Uh, Want to bet on the weight? What would you say? Yeah, we're going to bet I'm on the weight. I'm saying 245. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's all put up a certain amount of money. We get a bet, then we weigh Scott right now. Ten, ten bucks each. Hey, let's ten bucks each. Yeah, all right? Two sixty. John, you in on this? Uh, yeah, I was going to say 260. All right, well, let me write this down. Hold on. I'll take it. Yeah, I love what betting. What is the bet? $10. All right, Gary, you say Scott weighs 245? 245. Okay. What do you, how tall are you, Scott, by the way? 6'1". Okay. John, go ahead. Stand up. I, I let me look I'll, at you. I'll say... Uh, Jesus, look at that. Uh, you know what? Oh, God. Turn around so I can see your ass. <laughs> I want to take my back. I didn't realize it was 6'1". I'll, 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 I'll say 260, uh, uh, five. Howard, I want to change mine. John, I'll do that. All right, Gary, go ahead. Change it. I'm going to go to uh, 258. All right. Remember, it's the person who's closest without going over. Without so going over. Price is right. I Robin. say 250. Robin says 250. Go ahead, Jackie. Um, Gary was 258 and John's what? 265. Robin's two fifty. Mm. I'll say uh, two two seventy. Uh, two seventy. Can no, he be that close to three hundred pounds? He he's a big. You know he could. He's tall and, and he's bulky. fat. Mm. Hey, look, he's going yay. Yeah, I'll bet you his head weighs fifty pounds at least. <laughs> Got no, fifty pounds of tar in his lungs. There's nothing in my head. Oh, oh, Jackie, two fifty five. Two fifty five. Yeah, two seventy is too much. Yeah, that's a little high. Uh, well, no, Robin's. Oh yeah, okay, Robin's at two fifty. Go ahead, Fred. I'm low balling. Two twenty. Two twenty. So he thinks maybe really? we're all over, right? I think you. Got all right, I'm going to go to uh, yeah. two. Oh, that could be Fred. real strange. Thank you, Fred. I'm going to go to two. Uh, two thirty five. All right. I can't believe he weighs that much, but maybe he does. Oh, how much do you weigh, Gary? I mean, I might want to revise that. How much do you weigh? Me? Yeah, be honest. Honestly? Yeah, well, put on his mic, Fred. Come I would say Gary's 200. How much you weigh? Uh, I'm up there. I'm over 200. You're what, 210? Oh. Uh, probably 208, 207, 208, something like that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Are, you, are you telling the truth? Or are you no, I'm telling the truth. I'm tell All right, so I'm going to say, you mean to tell me he'd only weigh a couple? No. But that's why, that's why I changed my bet. I said yeah. to myself, I can't believe Scotty weighs 30 pounds more than me. It's got to be a lot yeah, more I'm gonna go. I'm going to change mine to two... Could I tell you how much I weigh? Oh, no, no, don't tell me anything. Because you got to get on the scale. It's right here. No, 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 wait. I'm going to go no, to no, two. No, I'm going to 245, Robin. All right, here's the bet. Gary says Scott weighs 258, John 265, Robin 250, uh, Jackie 255, Fred 220, and I'm at 245. How much are we betting? Ten dollars a piece. Okay. Whoever gets closest can without I going over wins. Can I go uh, to 235 instead? Yes. I'll take your two. Th then can I come down to 260 then? Oh. Yes. Okay. And that's it. I'm closing it out. All right. Now get on the scale. Let's no, tell us what you think you weigh. No, no. First, I want to tell you what I weigh. Bets are closed. Go ahead. What I, I'll tell you what I weighed when I stopped smoking. How much did you weigh? 225. Okay. Right. Oh boy, I'm, I'm out of it. Uh -oh, I want to change it to 80. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm at 245. He's yeah. put on more than 20 pounds. Yeah. Well, look at him. He's huge. No, He's like wearing a maternity outfit. Okay. Whoa. Oh, look at that fat. Put on Come on, Scott. They say uh, muscle weighs more than fat, so Sash should probably weigh zero. I don't think there's any muscle hey on it. Hey, now. Yep. 265. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. John, you would have had it right on the nose, but you went anyway. Yes. Oh, my God. 265. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was high. At Here, here's my 10 bucks. Uh, wow. God God damn. damn. How much did you win? Oh my God! How much does Gary weigh? Two fifteen. Two eighteen. Oh, no, two fifteen. Isn't that scale off? <laughs> the scale's, no, scale's about five pounds heavy. Yeah. At that point, it doesn't matter. Two sixty-five. Two seventy. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, how it, I talked you out of it. Well, 270 was over. That wouldn't have helped. Is that you and Fred? Yeah, I gained 40 pounds. Oh, it was high as Why do you give me 20 wow. bucks? Is this you and Fred? Me and Fred. All right. Oh, me? Yeah. You won, John. Yeah, you can pay me the money. 265! Yeah! <laughs> Whatever. Close, huh? And rising. Oh. Good God. Here, I got a 20, so I'll take back 10. Here's from me. Jackie Fred? Fred. Yeah. Chewing gum doesn't help. Gary, get your money? Oh, sure. Oh, oh. Gary and Robin. He gained 40 pounds? In four months, yeah. 40 pounds. What are you going to do about that? Is this the biggest you've ever been? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Look at him lift up his shirt. There's tons of yeah, fat. It's all fat. So See, I was going to say for the Yankees game, let's bet something humiliating. So he won't die of cancer. He'll die of a heart <laughs> What do you mean? Like, maybe he has to go outside and walk around with his shirt off. No, 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 I don't bet because I know I lose. Uh, I don't know. He's not allowed to bet on the air. We've got to get him. Not money. I'm allowed to bet. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a You're not allowed man. to go to scores. Press. His wife doesn't let him go to scores, and now he can't bet. No, all I right, can bet all I want. And then when we play cards, he lies about how much he loses. I could. No, I don't. No. no. no I don't have to mention how much I lose. Oh, yeah. uh, by the way, Howard, as a favor to me, I would appreciate it if you would have mentioned how much I lose. Why do you do that to me? Why do you even go Some to the things game? are just between us, Howard. Yeah, right, some things can just be private. Why go to the game, Scott? Guy stuff. <laughs> Keep our manly bond. Why go to the game? Because he loves to play cards. He doesn't want his wife to know if he loses or if he wins. Right. But he always. Loses. He goes home. He says, "I broke even again, <laughs> and I had fun." Right. No, I never. You want to bet me the uh, Yankees Cleveland game? No, no. Oh come on! I bet a dollar. Once I bet, who you say is going to win? I think Cleveland's going to win. Well, so you put your money where your mouth. Once I bet, the Yankees will win. That's what we're betting. Right. Yeah. Exactly. What you so said. what? Don't you want the Yankees to win? I do want the Yankees to win. Yeah. You do? So yeah. Uh. So why don't you bet him something like yeah, walking around the street and Brian Pan? No, I told you I don't bet. I oh. lose. I just like to say, hey, what, man? Let's bet, bet Brown panties. If you, no, 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 if you no win, way. listen to me. Oh, well, I'll have to do it too. How about if you think I want to be in a brown panties? That's fine. <laughs> but I lose. Don't you get Don't it? Don't you have any faith in yourself? I'll take the Yankees. Absolutely not. No faith. Yeah, but if the Yankees are going to lose tonight. Come on, either Howard or you is walking down the street in brown panties. Come on, that's I will a good not, I'll tell you the truth, man. I would not take good. Cleveland. You want the Yankees? No, because well, whoever I take is going to lose. How about if I put up five hundred dollars? Ooh. All right. Now listen to this. Okay. It's my five hundred to your brown panties. <laughs> Come on, guys. A lot Come of, on, you a can lot make five hundred bucks. Big deal, brown panties. It's a whole gig. I just want him in brown panties. I don't That's care. That's a gig, and you don't even. How about I just give you five hundred dollars and you get it? You all chip in. I'll take in a hundred. Come on, Scott. Make a be a man. Make the bet. Be a man. <laughs> be a Buddha. He's a pussy. Come on, let's bet. I'll be in brown panties or you'll be in brown panties? I like the 500 idea. Oh, you like that idea? Yeah, I saw him uh, breaking down on that. lit up on that one. I really don't know who's going to win this game. I, I, I have the series. a bad feeling about the Yankees. No, Me too. I, mean, I like them, but I just have a bad feeling about it. Be a close game. They had it. Last night they had it. Yeah, but it and they let it go. Hey, whatever happened with the lead singer of Anthrax? Did we ever get any confirmation on that? No, he said he would call me when he found out what was going on. They were still talking to lawyers and stuff, but he was pretty happy with the way it went. The lead singer of uh, Anthrax, Scott Ian. He was uh, down in uh, Florida where Yankees training camp is, so he got real loaded, and he was with his girlfriend, which is even funny because he's married. But anyway, he's with his girlfriend, and he uh, hops the fence, and he decides he's loaded out of his mind. He's going to steal the, you know, you know when you go into the uh, batter's box? The on-deck circle. The on-deck circle, rather. They have that little rubber that thing. Match. Yeah, he was going to steal it because it has the Yankees logo on it because he's a super Yankee fan. Where's he going to put it? Of course, he's loaded. He can't lift the goddamn <laughs> thing. Couldn't get it. They catch him because they've got tons of video cameras and on he there. he dragged it all around the field. He was on videotape drunk, dragging the thing all around the field. They arrested him. And now they're pressing charges because it's, it's grand, isn't it grand theft or mm -hmm. something? Yeah, because it's worth 1200 bucks, so it's, uh, it's grand loss. Grand loss. So we got them on the air in case you missed it. We got George Steinbrenner and Scott Ian on the phone, and I think Steinbrenner was maybe thinking about giving them a break, but. Uh, we ought to have, uh, Scott and his win. wife on the air just to yeah. talk about their relationship. <laughs> yeah, screw the Yankee screw. thing. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? Think about it for the rest of the show. Okay. Come All right. Scott, it would be so much fun. Uh, what? Uh, he went to 500 so bad. Do it. Do it. I'll, I'll think about it the rest uh, of the show. We'll right. get, we'll get it you know what's so funny, Howard? He hates I'm, I'm going to get a skimpy pair of panties, Who though, man. What are you going to take, Howard? What? A thong. I'll take whoever he doesn't. <laughs> oh, he'll give me the choice, Scott. A thong, Howard. 
Oh, he's giving me a choice. You're going to have to wear a thong. <laughs> and when I say oh, panties, no. listen to me. Listen to me, Scott. Listen to me, because I'm giving up 500 uh, if I lose. Not worth 500. Wait a minute. I want uh, to I'm going to put a thong. You're going to wear a thong. Not worth 500. And a little skimpy, so you, you, your little package is going to be there. <laughs> and you're going to wear a nice, beautiful bra. A wonder bra. A wonder bra. <laughs> Push your breasts together. Maximum cleavage. my attributes. Not worth 500. Oh, you're no, well, so I'm ridiculous. I'm sure it is. Dominical kick in dude, dude, I took a blast of gas. This How is nothing. much would it take? 2,000? And a dunce cap that says loser. Oh. Come on, that would be so me. much fun. And I'll put up 500. No. Okay, no, good. Then get out of here. And then you don't win. A thousand. Let's have the farting contest. I'll put up yeah. another five hundred. Wait, hold on. A thousand now, Howard. You're going to put up another five hundred? Yeah, a thousand. <laughs> oh, Scott, come on. A <laughs> thousand bucks riding on this. You can take whatever team you want. Because you're such a loser, we know you'll lose. Of course. We've given That's you the, the money. Problem. Oh, yeah, come you got a 50% chance of winning a Yeah, time. you can flip a coin and might win a thousand dollars. It's heads or tails. Yankees or Cleveland. But remember, man, you got to wear the outfit I put on you. Even your wife can't be mad at if you walk home. If you walk in with a grand, you're going to be a hero. Well, I'm, not giving up, money. I mean, I'm not giving anything of hers up if I put a bra on right, exactly. you. That's right, right. right. But she's going to be mad because you humiliated you, her and I'm her son. An it's your yourself. dignity, not hers. You, okay, you know what it is? The only reason he's not doing this is because he's afraid of his wife. Absolutely not. It has nothing uh, to do with it. It is because you know she can go. No. How could you do that? What your you son do has that? to go. You know what she's afraid of. And that'll be on the E channel. Is he the worst liar you ever notice? Whenever you ask about that, he goes into this whole monotone and he goes, absolutely not. I know he's lying. Because he's going, yeah, she can't be mad at me if I humiliate myself. She has nothing to do I know what he's afraid of. Take a hold of him. Right. Then he's going to walk around the street in brown panties, and other women are going to hit on him. You know why he needs? You know why he needs time to think about it? Because he's waiting to go back and discuss it with his wife. Then why don't you make your decision now? It has nothing to do with yes, my love. I have to go out in the, in the street in brown panties. Yeah. yeah. Walk around the block, the entire block. I don't know. And why you don't think when you walk out in the street now people don't goof on you? What's the big deal? <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what it is. You're going to have on high heels. Oh, no. Your pretty feet. I did high heels once. That was no, It'll be high heels. Killed your legs. Panties. Which, when I say panties, thong panties, no thong. Uh, a bra, and a dunce cap that says loser. No. Come on. <laughs> and that's it. Marv did it for free. Come on. Come on. God, it's and a you get a grand if you win. And it well, I was going to count to three. You've you got to make a decision. A lot of money. You get to choose the team. But you can't walk out of here and make the decision and call your wife. So here I go. I'm going to count to three. I'm going to count to three. One. Before three, you've got to make the decision. Two. What happens if I don't make the decision? And you blow, then you blow the whole thing. The, the bet's off the table. Two. Do it. Two and a half. Come on, guy. Three. Okay, bet's off the table. Oh. That's it. Oh. Oh. You are such Boy. a spoiled sport. Oh. I'll tell you what, man. He's afraid of his wife. I'll take that bet. I'm not afraid. Of course, anybody would. I'm not afraid. I tell you this. What is the big deal about walking around in bra and panties? Yeah, what is the big deal? You know what the big deal is? He's afraid of his wife. I'm not afraid of her. You are so afraid of her. I'm what? not. This guy's totally pussy whipped. You are so you, you have a son. I know. You have a son. Yeah, and right. he's, and everyone's he going to right, do the best. No. <laughs> oh, he just said to do it. <laughs> You know what? When you start doing his wife's voice, it's so much worse. I know. It's so much more crap. So it's better off. He'll do it, Howard. He just said he'll do it. You're going to do it? The best time? What do you take? Yeah, pick the team. Hmm. Look at him. Look at him. He's like buying a condo. Everybody got a cigarette? Go ahead. Come on. Yankees? Okay. Thank you. Robin, we win. Cleveland is going to kick ass. Yeah! <laughs> Every Yankee fan in the audience is right. always bummed out. <laughs> John's like freaking out. He wanted the Yankees to win. You just jinxed the Yankees. I'm going to get blamed now. Oh, oh, you just right. jinxed the Yankees. Right. Right. But at least yeah. now the Yankees are like, be happy about seeing him in a... In a the, yeah, at least the Yankees consolation prize is this idiot's going right. to be walking around in a dunce That's our Yankee yeah. parade. Yeah. Right. <laughs> High heels, panties, thong panties, full makeup, bra... A dunce cap that says loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you jinxed the Yankees. That's right. You jinxed the Yankees. The whole city you're a loser. of New York will be upset at me. I just heard the whole city of Cleveland <laughs> make a big yell. They're so happy. Andy Pettit, pack your bra. Robin, don't even bother bringing in a check. I'm not. I'm not. We win. Worry about When's the game? Tonight? Tonight. Tonight. Oh, beautiful. Just make and sure we get the thong ready. I know it's really good, Howard. I wanted the Yankees to win, too. On top of everything. Why did you take the Yankees if you thought that guy has a bad back? And you, you said all along right. Cleveland's going to win. Right. That's right. This is so typical, Scott, the engineer. He knows Cleveland's going to win. No, no, no. He no, bet no. the Yankees. That, that, and now the Yankees are going to get jinxed. Let me tell you, my losing theory. is in his blood. What is your theory? the Yankees are listening to the radio. Hey, Ralph, if you're listening, go shopping for Scott. I want thong wow. panties. Make them pretty. Right. right. My original opinion was Cleveland would win. Right. So I had... So that would obviously be 
the wrong. No, opinion. because it's, no. It's, it's what you bet, guys. That's what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fake myself out. There. Oh, in other that's words, right. because you believe Cleveland's going to win, you went the opposite of what yeah, you believe. That's, that's but right. it's what he bets, Howard. That's, you know, that's what yeah, he loses. That's what Yankees are going to get creamed tonight. <laughs> it's going to be devastating. And, and Howard, you know what the best part of this is? <laughs> Scott has to be here at the crack of dawn, but of course he can't go to sleep till the game's over, so we all sleepy oh, yeah. tonight. Tomorrow. It all does. I got to stay up tonight. All flat. Everyone stayed up tonight. All the way around the block in thong and panties, high heels, <laughs> and that ass of his in a thong. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, my God. That is going to be some fight. Oh, oh, oh. is that going to be great? <laughs> Bigger crowd than the Easter parade. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> They're lining up already. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, there's something Music the way you want good it. about the Yankees having to lose tonight. <laughs> Scott's wife's already on the phone. Oh, you are. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. You can look on the bright side. I know. I know he's I, I know he's familiar. I'll mow the, I'll, I'll mow the grass today. Uh, listen, uh, we could go out for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. They're going to be laughing at the mm. at their bowling league. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Joe, you're on the air. Scott, I will buy you a lifetime supply of cigarettes if you just change your back. You can't do this to Yankee. <laughs> please, please. You know, I don't smoke anymore. I don't smoke. You know how Joe Torrey's uh, sister is a nun and everything? Mm -hmm. Scott is stronger than a nun. That's right. See, he's stronger than any prayers that nun can The jinx up. is on the Yankees. Yeah. Scott's Tortori. got the whammy. Joe Torrey's Joe Tori sister just split her wrist. <laughs> Did you know Joe Torrey's uh, brother is in the hospital again? Yeah. He's a pain in the ass. Every uh, postseason, he has to go into the hospital. This just in from our Vegas affiliate. Scott threw off the Vegas odds. <laughs> what was once even odds now... Yankees now are destined to lose, they say in Vegas. They're a long shot. <laughs> They're a long shot. The odds are 50 to 1. Oh, the money is changing. <laughs> money is changing. <laughs> All bets off. Guarantee you Cleveland wins tonight. Thank it's a lock. Go bet, any, go bet the house on Yeah, it. you want to make money tonight's the night to bet. <laughs> there you go. All this work, all this hard work, and Scott changes the entire season in one, one moment. How much of a jinx is Scott? Never mind all of this. You know what? I <laughs> yeah. stayed up. Yeah. To watch the entire game. Did you really? I because watched the I first was two so innings. I fascinated with that Scott. They were going to lose because of Scott. I don't want to bust Scott's balls yet. I want to wait till after the break. Yeah. Because I have so much ball busting to do. It could take three hours. But it's going to be a great show today. I went to bed saying, I really don't want to pay Scott $500. Uh, that was but never in question. That was never in question. Never in question. There are so many people on the phone. Here's a guy. Uh, he, first of all, here's a fact. Uh, please thank Scott the Engineer for me. I never bet on baseball, but I put 10 bucks on Cleveland because of yesterday's show, and I won. Take care, Mike. <laughs> Uh, okay, I, all right, I gotta bust his balls. I don't, I, you know what? I can't wait can't for the break. Wait. Okay, all right. Here's Scott the engineer. Scott the engineer loses every bet he ever makes. Like, you know, Scott's into like race car driving. Uh huh. He loves to go to the race cars. We send him. Yeah, because Ronnie the limo driver loves it, and Scott loves it. So every year, like, Prodigy uh, was sponsoring a race car team. We sent them down. They sit in the pit. The whole oh, deal. You're yeah, it's like a big deal to these these wow. two guys. Yokel. Yeah. So Scott. Oh, look how fat he is. A loser. 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 <laughs> He's a loser's loser. So many people are mad at you. When he's the folk, you know he must be near. <laughs> Got the engineer. Do you know you're going to lose every bet? Oh, or yeah. You... I'm not surprised at all. Because you I... really thought yesterday you were going to win. Believe me, I'm used to this. Why didn't you I pick have no let me problem? Let me tell you what a, what a mush he is. You know why I didn't pick Cleveland? Uh, pick Cleveland? Because that would have been the correct bet. No. No, here's what he told me this morning. <laughs> what? I, I couldn't bet against, against my Yankees. Yankees. Oh. Anyway, so... Oh. Listen to this. Scott comes in yesterday morning. This is the only reason this whole bit occurred. Uh -huh. Okay? Scott comes in yesterday morning, and he says to Gorilla, and Gorilla reports everything to me. He yes. says to Gorilla, you know, I know exactly who is going to. Could you guys stop giving me commands from the booth? Stop it already. You're making me cuckoo. The, 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 the e-crew. They're all excited in there with the hair and the glasses. And the, stop already. Just shoot around me. 
Okay, well, that'll thanks. be easy. And they can be nuts. Just wherever I am, just shoot me. All right? Uh, if my face is blocked by the microphone, that's even better. Fix the microphone. Fix the, you distract me when you put up those notes. You rat finks. I'll throw the whole lot of you out of here. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't worry. They can't interrupt my good mood. Okay, because Scott lost. They go fix the microphone. I don't even know where the microphone's supposed to yeah, go. How, how do you fix it? Yeah, I'll fix it in my dreams. <laughs> Scott, the engineer, might as well have drugged the entire Yankees organization. As soon as he bet on him, I knew they'd lose. Now, they here's the deal. You know I have influence on world, world events. You do? Of course. Steve Gorilla, if anything. we play cards, you lose. Exactly. I've never seen you win. And you're a good card player. Yes. And you what? always and he sits there the whole time wait, wait, with wait. a sad face let and he goes, uh, let me, let me. I don't understand it. I can't get one good hand. If he gets up out of his seat while we're playing cards, I win. I would win. The seat win. wins. Right. Whoever sits down. Whoever sits, and he goes, I should have stayed in my seat. I knew it no, would let get me, hot. Let me explain something to you. If, you. if we played for no money, I would clean up. <laughs> Great, we Scott. For, like, fake money, Way to go. If I play for That's how to money. win in life. Yeah, if I play for real money. Yeah, you're can't the win. king of monopoly. Can't win. That's right. And this it follows you everywhere. All of them. Anyway, anyway. Wait, I, I, you know what? I want to bust his balls, but it's going to get... You know what? Can we take a break and then I'll bust his balls? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Definitely. Okay, all right. Because people need to hear this. Yeah, all morning all right. long. Uh, and they don't need an interruption. Yeah, I know. This is, it's just it's just too much. Oh. Oh. On top of this, are you in trouble at home? No. Uh, tell the truth. Oh. Absolutely not. Oh, you are. Did they do an impression of me on the air? No, absolutely not. not. All right. Absolutely <laughs> not. There are so many people from Cleveland who want to thank Scott. I knew they'd be cheering in the streets of Cleveland this That's morning. That's why they were dancing like I have that. never been happier that the Yankees lost, just to prove what a loser you are. And as, as they were Naughty, losing... the Cleveland... Cleveland <laughs> Scott the Engineer will be the in a pretty pair of panties, thong panties this morning, and bra. And if anyone in New York who wants to see him... He'll be walking around the block. That's Let's right. go right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Bills, we're going to have a nice build-up. No, no, no. Let's we're going to make right a nice <laughs> build-up. <laughs> I'm ready right now. I know you are. <laughs> Dino, give it to him, baby. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dino Berber. I want to thank my man, Scott. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, what you want me to make my picks for the uh, playoffs the, and the World Series? You're you're the man. <laughs> I, I cannot every... lose with you. Your yeah. picks don't count until you bet. I want to see this right. fat slab oh. start parading around your wonderful city. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that hot bag of wind on. You know, I kind of would have done... Hey, you called me a fat slob and I made you win? What the hell's wrong with you? Ah, uh, you're being funny now. I love when you're I'm funny. He's trying so hard to play. Oh, oh, I know he's trying to play it down. He goes, oh, I didn't want to be in these panties. When I, was <laughs> hey, <laughs> I worked for the show for 12 years. I have no problem. Every once in a while, you got to make an ass out of yourself. Everybody does it. It comes along. This is my time to be an ass. It's my mantra. And then, this is what he <laughs> said to himself all last night. And yeah. 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 this it's morning. My Look, how, what's my attitude going to be like on the air? I no, devil may care. Yeah, devil may care attitude. Dino, I got to hang up on you because, man, I want to just get to the commercials and I want to continue the ball busting. Bring it on, Howard. I hear you, brother. And I want to see the outfit. Oh, wait, Robin, you're going to help create whoa, the outfit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have several different whoa, whoa, whoa. pair of thong panties. Whoa, 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 the whoa, whoa, whoa. Bras, The bet one. Yeah. If you recall, yes. that I go out on the street in the uh -huh. outfit. Yes. Does not include the studio. Uh, it includes walking around the block. Well, I will go, yes, but well, not in well, here. Well, well, yes, it does include here. No, no, no. Oh, oh Scott, don't try to... What do you mean? You're, you're lost. You're, you're lost a bet. Just right. put on your panties and, and bra. I'll be on the street in the panties and bra. That's ah, right. come on, man. Don't even try to change the bet. Uh, I'm not changing the bet. How about if Robin and I came in and said, okay, the $1,000, that was real, That was only... Ill. No, no, studio, you can have it, but not outside. Yeah, please. Don't be a wuss. You can't do that. Oh, loser. This is why you're a loser. This is why you're a loser. You can't even, you can't even lose gracefully. Just take your medicine. No Unbelievable. Take no matter your what medicine. I say, it's not going to matter. No matter what I say. He was prepared yesterday. <laughs> After we got off the air yesterday, he was ready. Oh, yeah. He, he I lost the round. I lost but it. It my leg. We knew you lost. The poor Yankees. I don't want to talk about this, Robin, until we get back from the commercials. All right. Let's, let's, let's do this quick. Let's do it's a dash, 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 dick dagger, dash, dick dagger with the dump that dash. It's a dash, 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 So dash. Yeah. All right. So let's talk uh, baseball. Let's talk about the bat. I, you know.
Hey, I'm not the world's biggest baseball fan. Would I have liked to have seen the Yankees win? Yeah, because I'm from New York, and it would have been kind of cool. Absolutely. It would be fun to have a series here and all that. Stuff. But it's more fun to have Scott lose, because this is so great. So I come into the station right. yesterday. Well, sorry, what was that, Scott? Why is it fun? It happens all the time. <laughs> I gotta say, I, it's just so fun to prove it, though. It really is. I come into the station yesterday, and, and Gorillo greets me, and he says, uh, yeah, I was just talking to Scott. He says, you should bet uh, Cleveland because um, the guy who's pitching for the Yanks has a bad bag. That was right. Cleveland's, uh, yeah, you're right. So anyway, so I said, oh, really? I said, you know what, Steve? I guarantee you whoever Scott bets on will lose <laughs> he, because I've never seen the guy win a bet. <laughs> Scott, so, so Scott is into, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the extent of his losing. Forget about the fact that I played, you know, cards, poker. Poker with, uh, actually, you poke nobody. <laughs> poker with uh, Scott about 20 times now, 30 times. Mm -hmm. Every time he plays, he loses. Every time oh, he gets out of his chair, as soon as he gets out of his chair and another guy sits down, it, it's wins. It. I've had break even nights. Yeah, he has broken even. I'll give him that. <laughs> he's had a couple. That's, that's winning to me. But he really, he really just sits there, and it's a sad face, and everyone knows he's going to lose, and he loses. He loses, loses, loses. I remember once you telling me he had a, a great hand and he lost. It, it, not only, yeah, he did. Uh, 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 One time he had a lock. He had four of a kind. I think oh. I had the best you can get. In you ha he had four of a kind because we had a, like a wild card in the middle, yeah. oh. and another guy had four of a kind, like two a cards higher. better, yeah. Yeah, a little bit higher. Yeah. He had a lock. He was betting into the guy, yeah. and he was like, and you know we have rules about betting, but we, he was like, why don't we just throw the rules out the window and get the house, you know? And then you go, wow, Scott's got a really good yeah. hand. This is Scott's chance. <laughs> and everyone throws the rules out the window, and Scott's betting into the guy. <laughs> and he loses. Yeah. Oh. It's fun to watch him lose. And I'm sitting there, and I was looking over Scott's shoulder, because you know you show guys your hand when you, sure. everyone's out? Yeah. He, he, he's like, <laughs> you know, he's got, you know, he's, he's, he's bluffing. He's like, right. yeah, I'm really nervous. Meanwhile, he's got four eights or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he's going to lose, and he loses. Oh. The other guy had like four jacks. Wow. <laughs> we left our ass off. <laughs> Guys always say, well, I'm out for the night. <laughs> so he's, I'm out for the night. everything. Yeah, so Scott is like the loser's loser. So uh, forget about when we play cards, okay? All right. So Scott gets into race car driving. He loves you. Love race car driving, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And what I'm happens? Passionate uh, about it. Very. Oh yeah. Not, uh, not passionate. I'm a bald like... Mario Andretti. You know, even my wife said you sound like um, Popeye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so he got. So every year we send them down. Prodigy sponsors. You know, well, they used to sponsor a car. Yeah, and Scott would go down with Ronnie, and Ronnie would uh, sit there in the pit with Scott. And I How said, did oh. they let him in? Well, because he wasn't betting. Oh. But meanwhile, yeah. then you know, we love NASCAR. But Scott has a favorite race car driver. Who's your favorite race car driver? Oh, like, like most people don't. I mean, you know, Rusty Wallace. <laughs> no, I don't have a favorite race don't. car driver. I mean, who who are into the sport? Who is it, Rusty Wallace? Yeah. Rusty Wallace has lost. Like every race since Scott became a fan. No, no, no. Oh, come no, on. Ronnie no, told me. No, Ronnie no, told on. me. You jinxed him. You jinxed Rusty Wallace. The first year the first year I was into it, I followed Rusty Wallace. He won the championship. <laughs> he followed him. Then when you announced you were a fan. He won, he he won races this year. Okay. All right. Okay. That's, that's something I can't. I, whatever. He's not doing well, but he's doing right. races. He said that this, he is. The guy got cancer. Ignore him. <laughs> you know something bad will happen to him. No. If you bet on him. You know, he'll die in an accident, a fiery accident. Don't say that. So anyway, <laughs> and I love when Scott tries to be funny. I know. Don't say that. He's Don't acting. That. <laughs> He's acting, yeah. He's acting like he has a personality. So anyway, Scott yesterday is parading around the station, Mr. Sports, because he's into every yeah, sport. Yeah, parading, right? You and he were. Said to Gorillo, Cleveland's going to win. I said, Robin, I'm going to bet Scott, because... If he wants Cleveland, I'll bet the Yankees. Yankees will win. Yeah, I know it. Whoever Sky bets <laughs> loses. It's a sure thing. Bet the house on it. So Scott comes in the room. I say to Scott, I tell you what, man, let's bet. I got to either be in a brown panties or you got to be in brown panties and walk around the street with a big dunce cap that says loser and heels. Right. So he goes, no, I'm not betting. Because I, I know the outcome. I mean, right. it's just, I've right. learned my lesson. So how do we tell know. Him? Money. I know. <laughs> Scott wants money more than anything. You know better. Scott has a disco <laughs> business claims it makes no money. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you're out every that's weekend good. spinning records and you make no money. That's right. A lot of expenses. Yeah. Like my card playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not out every week spinning records. And he still plays cards. So. Right. <laughs> so Scott comes in, comes in, he sits down in the studio, and what does he say? Yeah, that's right. Cleveland will win. I said, okay, you want to bet? Now it comes time for betting. You put up a five hundred dollars. I put up five hundred. Now it's a thousand dollars. He goes, all right, I'll bet. And then we even let him pick his team. And I said to him, you pick either team. I don't care since it's even money. You pick. You pick. And he's smelling that thousand. And he goes, now listen to this. This is the guy who says Cleveland's going to win. Right. He goes, 
I'll take the Yankees. <laughs> now, what was his reason for taking the Yankees? He says, because yes. I know whoever I was going to bet would lose, so I bet the Yankees. And I go, no, Scott, it doesn't work that way. Now you're going to make the Yankees lose. I bet against myself. There were guys calling here said, you are going to cost the Yankees yeah. the series. Absolutely. Yeah, I did. I cost the Yankees. all my fault. Mario, you're on the air. Yeah, thanks, man. You're welcome, Mario. Oh, God bless you. You stupid jack-off. <laughs> he's, a, he's a jinx. Oh, my God. He's a mush. Uh, you know, you know, F Rose <laughs> yesterday, I... F the French, and the biggest F goes to you, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> You're the biggest loser in the world. Yes, I know. Oh, my God. You're pathetic. Oh, it's now my kids got to wait another lifetime to see the Yankees win. You <laughs> stupid putz. They won last year. You're last. pathetic. <laughs> you should bury your head like an ostrich. <laughs> well, today, Scott will be wearing... Now, Robin, as you yes. can see over there, I've got dunce cap. Bras. Uh -huh. I've got various thong panties. <laughs> I've got um, where's his heels? Where's his pretty heels? No pantyhose. Oh uh, man. No. Oh no, you're going bare leg. <laughs> you should make him walk around the diaper. <laughs> Diaper's too big. Oh, no, no, it covers up the, the thong. Can you imagine his ass? How? What are you like? Two sixty? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to be so nonchalant too. Oh, what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> Am I going to sit here and freak out about it? Here is uh, uh, his uh, heel. Oh, there's his heel. Let me see those. What color are those? Oh, those, oh, those are pretty. Mm -hmm. They're going to look so hot. Look at those. A little heel. Ooh, oh, baby. those are so cute. You know what? Since you're over 40, these are the right heel for you. <laughs> not you're not trying wise. to be too youthful. Yeah, they're not F me. Uh, <laughs> those are the relaxed heels. Yeah. Those are, are some easy spirits for you. Potholes. Like if my wife wore these pumps, I'd be a little, they're a little conservative. But yeah. for a man your age, I think these pumps are just right. <laughs> Look at the size of this shoe. I know. Look at that thing. What is this? It looks like a car. It's a 12. Mm. <laughs> it's a 12? Yeah. You can put a steering wheel on that and drive it. Tracy, hi. Hey. Howard. Yeah. I'm the hugest Indian fan in the world. All right, man. Cleveland. I helped you out. And, uh... I, I just got to say, if you know anything about Cleveland baseball, these people have waited all their lives for this. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, and it's, you have Scott to there's thank. No way, there's no way Cleveland could have done this on their own. They couldn't yeah, have. It's Scott. The Yankees were, I mean, they couldn't do I pushed them over the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Scott thanked the Yankees, man. And he knew Cleveland was going to win. Yeah. That's okay. why he bet the Yankees, because he goes, it's like, because now I know Cleveland's going to win if I bet them. Now the Yankees will win. The Yankees pulled See? out all the stuff. They did incredible things and still couldn't get a run. Tell me something. I Okay, I went to bed after the second inning. Mm -hmm. It looked like the uh, both pitchers were a little shaky because guys were getting walked, guys were getting right, hits. Right. It was a pretty exciting I think, game. I think the Yankees had more hits in that game they than they had, had in the first hits. four together. Yeah, I am so. I know. Hits. I am so and damn still disciplined. couldn't get on... Get home. I went to bed at 9 o'clock because I said, i got to go to sleep. I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. I said, but how am I going to miss this game? <laughs> and I went to bed and I said, in the worst, I said to my wife, just in case, leave me a check. So I can, in case I have to write a check right. to Scott, the engineer, she goes, I'm not going to leave you a check. I don't think you're going to need to. <laughs> Even oh. she knows. She knows he's a loser. <laughs> the, the last time that the, that the Cleveland Indians did anything is like 1948. Hey, I mean, that's how far back it goes. You see, you didn't have Scott in 1948. <laughs> he was just a little baby of seven years old back like then. Oh, my God. This is just so huge in Cleveland. You just don't know. I mean, this is the biggest thing. Is and, somebody and, eating and something? The, the series, I mean, the Yankees are the, are the returning oh. world champions. They were supposed to do that's this. That's right. Wow. I mean, it, it just, oh. It, it it's so no funny. You yesterday. know what would be really funny? If Cleveland threw a ticker tape parade for Scott the Engineer. Absolutely. <laughs> How great would that be? I need to know, I, I need to know two things. <laughs> yeah. How, first of all, how could someone be such a loser? You know, how, how could you be so... Let me tell you something. Scott is such a loser. I mean, he walks around like a loser all day. He grew up this way. I know. I, this is the thing. Who does he pick to win the World Series? It's who he bets. Yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter if he bet. doesn't have money on it. <laughs> yeah. If I pick somebody, it doesn't matter. No. I'm it's, right then. As soon as he bets, he right. want, he, he knew Cleveland was going to win. It's got to be money. It's got to be money. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go double or nothing on the money? On you got to you gotta let me in on that bet. <laughs> oh, man. I hey, the money. I just think that Scott, I, I'm sure they're going to have a ticker tape parade for Cleveland yeah. just based on this win. They've got to put Scott on the hood of the car <laughs> in his bra ornament. panties. He's the hood ornament in his bra and panties. <laughs> and, and the whole town could be cheering for him. I would, I would do anything to see that. <laughs> it is just so unbelievable. Hey, uh, Eddie, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. That fat, bald bastard. <laughs> oh. I'm, 
I'm going to get even with him. Now I'm going to do it. I'm a regional manager of the IRS. I'm going to order his fat ass. You're going to audit, Scott? Yeah. Wow, the IRS is going to audit you. I'll see if you. Uh, bag 54 yeah, we, makes any money. We just saw the uh, hearings in the Senate about the IRS, didn't Through we? Through that, the hearings. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. You're such a Jonah. I know. <laughs> you are a Jonah. Uh, if he ever took a ship anywhere, it'd probably sink, just like the Titanic. Right. That's a ship, Robin. I, I heard it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You pissed everyone off. Glad to do it. How could you do that to your hometown? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you had a bad him. He's a mush. <laughs> He's a Look mush. At Look at him. Look at that face. Why would you come in here and be a good sport? I know. There's nothing I can do, man. I can we got to break him. Take it, man. Scott, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. What's up, man? Hey. Hey, did you ever see that movie, A Bronx Tale? Yep. Eddie the Mush. Eddie the Mush. That's in that fat bastard. <laughs> Scott's like Eddie the Mush. Dude, I love the Yankees. I won about a grand because of you yesterday because I bet on Cleveland. Yeah. What are you so mad about? He still would have liked to see the Yankees win. Dude, you mushed him, man. You mushed him. We I, uh, the stories are unbelievable. You know, everyone have, knows Scott is such a loser. I have so much power. I made the Yankees lose. This is Chris. Yes. He bet you. on Cleveland. He won eight grand because of Scott. Wow. You, hey, you got to split that with eight him. Eight grand. Were you going to even bet the game? I no. And then as soon as you heard Scott pick the Yankees, you went out and bet. Howard, I've been listening for a long time. I know what a loser Scott is. He always loses. <laughs> Where's my ten percent? Sorry, Scott. Where's my ten percent? And always begging uh, somebody it's in the mail, for ten percent. It's on the way. He's yeah, always yeah. and he's always at the yeah, other end going. My cut. I was your luck. <laughs> Yeah, always looking for somebody I'm to give him so the payoff. Powerful. Scott, it ain't gonna happen. That big payday ain't happening. Never. It just never, never happened. No, no. Everybody around you. Exactly. <laughs> Chris has got eight thousand dollars. You don't. I'm hey, surrounded Scott, by millionaires. Thanks. I'm gonna be able to go back to school now because of you. There you are. No problem, man. You betted my life. Thank you, hey, Howard. I love you. Love you too. Take it. Thanks. Oh, I just love it. All right, one more fan wants to thank Scott the engineer. Uh. Uh, I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's just too many people calling to to. Rag I'm sure stuff. that you know when you go out on the street, you're going to have quite a reception. Yeah. yeah. All my fans will be out there. <laughs> Aren't we doing this in Cleveland? Didn't we say that? Uh, you should have to do it in Cleveland. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Let's pick out an outfit. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't I get to pick it? No. Don't no. I get to pick it? No, no, no. As you can see, Robin, I don't know if you can see, actually, from where you're sitting. No, I've I'm, I'm got a big... Uh, Gary, come on in here. Front of me. Gary, help us out so uh, Robin can see this as well. There's a couple of uh, pair of panties there. There's like two. Now, what, what are those? Those are those are considered thong panties. There's a string that goes up uh, the, the crack uh, of the butt. Wazoo? Up the wazoo. <laughs> How come there are tampons? I forget why those are there. That was, uh... Put on his microphone, please. Sorry. Yeah. That was for the girl who stuck those up her nose. Those were left over from last. Yeah, night. a few oh. weeks ago we were decorating in tampons. Tampons right. weren't in the weren't in the bed. Yeah, remove the tampons. <laughs> you should have to wear a tampon. Yeah. But all right, that wasn't in the bed. So could Gary uh, move that around so I can see or pull it over? There we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. Now look what we have here. Well, we got some flesh colored. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Gary, put it back where it was and then uh, take off each hanger at a time. Okay. All right. Let me see. Now, those panties are satin white. Panties. Very cute. Those are hot. That's the back, right? What yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll never get those on. Hey, no. You'll get them on. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> that's why it's a thong. I'll never get those I mean, on. They'll fit on one leg. No, you'll get them on. Trust me. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I like the flesh-colored ones. Let's see. He would look nude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a G-string. <laughs> look at that. His rolls are just going to come. I'm just so glad that's you lost right. this bet. I can't wait to see your fat. Well, oh, bra. look at that now, bra. What size do you think this is? Now, is that a wonder bra? Because I want his breasts no. pushed together. <laughs> Scott will be wearing a 40 double D. Excellent. Wow. I always 40. wanted to be a 40. You think a 40 will pass? Double D. Too small. I, I don't know if that'll fit. go on him. No. No, he'll fit in the bra. I'll squeeze him into it. Oh, no, like those are bloomers. No, no giant panties. <laughs> oh, those are great. Where are you <laughs> no. going with those? I said a thong. I like those. Those are not thong panties. Uh, no, that. No, no, that covers up too much of that ass. <laughs> and what is that, a robe so he can come out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. And what is that? Is Dunn's cap? Let me see that. What does it say on it? Loser, I hope? Of course. Oh, yes, in big letters. Loser. <laughs> and here are his high heels. This is the other apparel. These are very tasteful. Oh, these are nice. These yeah, are good nice. for walking. That's a nice walking shoe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do I love that you <laughs> lost. Oh, this is so great. Hey, Don, you're on the air. Yo, Scott. Is yeah. Scott there? No, he left. All right, well, what the hell. He's here. Uh, Scott, first of all, the car that you like, Prodigy, 
you realize that was the oldest driver in NASCAR. I wasn't the, I wasn't his fan. Oh, okay. How about Rusty Wallace? What happened two weeks ago? The first time in 25 years I've seen that. What happened when he was leading the race? What happened, Scott? He got black flagged. Why? What does that mean, Scott? He started the race too early. That's so right. he was he out was of the disqualified. race? No he, got, no, he wasn't disqualified. He got a penalty. Oh, yeah, he got a penalty. You're right. He didn't get out of the race. They made him. He would have won the race, but he finished 15. First time I've seen this in 25 years, the man had it locked up. See, he was running away with it. He jumps to start. Boom. I knew it. there was something to this because Ronnie said yeah. to me, as soon as uh, Scott announced he was a Rusty Wallace fan, Rusty Wallace, for the first time in his career, had yeah. uh, he, he couldn't even, he, he got disqualified. Yeah, he couldn't it, even start the race For right. jumping the start. Nobody does that. That's what Ronnie was talking then about. He made, then he made comments to the reporters. Then what happened to him? You know what he said? What happened to him after he made comments to the reporter? He got fined five thousand dollars. Whoa! What did he say? <laughs> He's your buddy, man. Was he paid in? Pennies? I think he said Scott the engineer likes me, so they just disqualified. Right. Exactly. You know what he said? He said I'm just quitting racing because Scott the engineer is my fan. <laughs> First time in twenty five years, never seen it before. Right. Unbelievable. He's incredible. Hey, watch me, man. I can make things happen. Yeah. He's incredible. You're amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I knew someone could explain that better. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you you did a good job on him, didn't you, Scott? Yeah. Hey, here's uh, Dominic Barber. He plays cards with Scott, too. Dominic. I flew back from France yesterday. Get on Who the cares? Tyler says to me, <laughs> <laughs> we're discussing the game for the night. Yeah. He says, well, the Yankees are going to lose. I said, why? He says, Scott bet them. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Dominic, explain how Scott is such a loser when we play cards. Like, all of us have off nights. We've yeah. all lost. But and everybody's had a big night. And everyone's had some big nights. But, but Scott forget, never does. You forget the time when he had the winning hand on the table. He beat everyone on the table, and you made a bet, like a small bet, and he went out, and he lost the pot, and he couldn't believe it. He was... <laughs> <laughs> you can even, even when he has a winning yeah. hand, you can bluff him out. And it's on the table. Yeah. Yeah, on the table, he won. Because I said to Dominic, I said to Dominic, I'll, I'll bluff him out. Yeah. <laughs> now, for the series, not today, but I'll call in with a substantial bet. If you can think of the true punishment he needs. What well, is that? I'm getting that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a double He's leaving table. it up to us. How about a double date with Ralph where they really have to go out for the night? <laughs> oh, go to a club. Go Let me to tell you show. something. He is so humiliated putting on a thong and bra that uh, I don't know if we can top this. This, is, this can't be topped. <laughs> this is the best. He so doesn't want to do this. Uh, he, is he going to have a bodyguard on the street? You know what happened to him? People that are really going out of their minds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> he wanted that $1,000 so bad. Yeah. As soon as he smells oh. that money. Oh, money is not everything. Right. I love you, Scott, but you are a loser. Hey, Al. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Hey, man. I'm one of your biggest fans, man. Thank you. Um, Scott needs to cut his nuts off so he can't contaminate the rest of the world. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I, I did that already. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I'm already rolling with the whole thing, man. You can't get me. You can't get me aggravated. <laughs> All right, I got to go uh, arrange for this. All right, how do you want to do this? Now we got to take a break, but yeah. when we come back, should Scott be in his bra and panties? Yes. Yeah. I don't think so. I think he should do a fashion show for us. I don't think so. <laughs> I think we got to pick one outfit. Well, I think the white <laughs> is the best. You like the white? He said. The the flesh colored one is going to disappear into his rolls and we won't even know oh, okay. he's wearing it. All right, I picked the white panties. <laughs> Since you and I made the bet, Robin, yeah. we get to pick. Okay. We'll pick the white panties. We agree on that. Yeah. And you like that big white bra? Yeah. Because that'll be like a little halter top on, <laughs> a little dippy top on him. Yeah, I can't wait to see his cleavage in that. <laughs> yeah, it's just so great. Ah, just that so big great. belly. Oh, I can't wait I for the whole the thing. <laughs> his hairy legs. I just want to see his ass in a thong. Yeah, and I bet what are you, you a hair? homo? Yeah. I bet you the hair goes all the way up. Yeah. What do you oh, think? Oh, he's so hairy except for that chrome dome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's everywhere. You're going to look like Marv Albert. How yeah. bad? bad does he need a cigarette right now? <laughs> <laughs> if there were ten packs, they'd smoke them all right now. Oh, this is just too great. <laughs> I just love this. This is just the best thing in the whole world. Kevin, you're on the air. Yeah, hey, Howard. Yeah. You ought to put a black cloud over his head. There, is, mean, one. there is one. What do you mean? <laughs> we don't have to draw it in. Don't you never saw a guy who walks through the halls of a radio like station with a black cloud defeated. over his head like Scott. He, he is, is so defeated. <laughs> he is just so defeated. Yes. It is just too much. <laughs> the sun is shining everywhere else, but not on Scott. <laughs>
Hey, who remembers the time Scott the Engineer put his money on the hood of his car and then drove away and lost it? Remember I that do, one? I do. Wasn't that a great one? Hey, want to find out why women nag you will this morning also? A black woman who hates black people. More FMEs. And coming up, Scott the Engineer parading around Manhattan in bra and panties. Penis and vagina, of course. Yeah, I invented that word. Not penis, vagina. Hey, Jimmy, yell at him. Go ahead. Scott! You fat bastard! I hate you! Scumbag, you and your fat wife! <laughs> His wife's not fat, sir. Well, you I gotta get. She's, she's a. Man. Listen, she married him. What is she supposed to do? She's don't blame her. Just like him. <laughs> Scumbag! <laughs> oh. People pissed, man. You jinxed the Yankees. Yeah. Well, I'm I love it. I just know you're a loser. I don't care which side you bet. I know they'd lose. I'm sitting here watching him chew on that gum because he can't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, murder. Such a ballroom thing inside this. Here's a song for you, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> she died to bake me. Dog said. Become aware of the buttocks. Why am I allowed to sit with these morons? Tense them. Get them out of here. Inhale and hold the breath while tensing. Get them away from me. Keep tensing. When I say to release, oh my God! Let the tension in your buttocks and your inhalation also be suddenly released. You filthy, slimy whore! Release. Good. Yeah, release, Scott. All right, this is good now. Now I'm really excited. I just like hearing people yell at you. Yeah, Robert. Why? Why? Yeah, I just want to thank Scott for uh, betting on the Yankees, and making them lose. Uh, anything that makes the Yankees lose makes me very happy. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, really. some I'm a huge Sox fan. I'm a huge Sox fan, that's why. Guys into the Boston Red Sox, you've eliminated the Yankees. We, we appreciate that. They're yeah. very nice of you. You do have your fans. Yeah, I know. All right, Scott, here's the deal. We have picked out um, white thong panties. It will be a white ensemble. White. Yeah, all white. Yes, white, Your color white, coordinated white, white. beautifully. Yeah. <laughs> Dark shoes. I love it. With a pair of black pants. I feel pretty. I feel pretty. I feel witty and pretty and gay. <laughs> oh, so pretty. And I pity. And I pity. Any girl who isn't me today. <laughs> Look at my pretty Scott and his lovely pumps. Look at my pretty Scott and his pumps. I can't wait to see your ass hanging out of this thong. All right, why don't we get it over with already? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Go for it. Plus, you got work to do. I know. Not only do you have to get in your... Here. All right, here's the bet. Scott, Scott, since Scott uh, lost the bet to me and Robin, we put up a thousand bucks. And we, we knew we'd win. We stood to lose a thousand. We stood to lose a thousand, but of course we knew we wouldn't. <laughs> I never even thought about that. It was guaranteed. It was guaranteed. Dopey here knew Cleveland was going to win, therefore he bet the Yankees because he says, well, I was going to bet Cleveland, and I know I always lose, so I'll bet the Yankees. I uh, <laughs> bet against myself. Right. And I went, Scott, it doesn't work like that. It's who you bet. He doesn't even understand how jinxed he is. And look how nice it is that my movie wife stopped by tonight today, and she's going to sit here and watch you, too, in your bra and panties. That's the most embarrassing. Yeah, he goes, you can't be in here when I change into my bra and panties. Oh, yeah, she can. <laughs> sure she can. I should have brought in more people. I should have brought in the whole goddamn That's pants for my movie. You know we should have had some Yankee fans in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the deal, Scott. Where do you want to change? You want to use my private bathroom? Or right behind this little script. No, no, I'll, I'll go in the uh, <laughs> regular bathroom. I'm doing it in my bathroom. Go ahead. In that little room there. Go, go take your... Um, take we your... can't wait. Gary, help him out, will you? You're so nice. Give him his uh, panties and bra. He may need help getting into this. Yeah. <laughs> you help him. Mary, you want to help him? Uh, loser Dunn's cap as well and his heels. Yes, don't come out until you're fully dressed. Put that robe down. What's the point with the robe? You don't wear the robe until you get out. All right. <laughs> get in there. Do you have any perfume for Scott? Scott, you didn't move your bowels this morning, did you? Because I don't want any dingleberries. we got to take those back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need those thongs back. <laughs> Other people need to wear them. Oh, is he going to be a frightening sight? I can't wait. He's so sad. He's all hunched over. Uh, How well, old is he? He's, what, 43, 44? 44. He's like somebody's dad. He's like going on 60. Yeah, he never stands up straight. He's like right. walking with the slump shoulder. And you know if like Jackie or Fred had to get into like a panties and bra, they wouldn't look all that bad. Yeah, and no. It would be over. But Scott. He's been moping around here all morning. Since 4 o'clock this morning. Right. 
He's trying so hard to be a good sport. It just makes it sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he walks through the halls smiling at everyone like, today's my day to get him painted in bronze. <laughs> no big deal. I'm like this. Haliachi, laugh, come, laugh. I'm I knew it was going to happen. Eric, go ahead. Hey, Howard, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Eric? Scott's in the bathroom changing. Well, that sperm burping bitch. I can't believe he made fun of, you know, the Yankees losing. He, wanted to, he bet on them the whole nine yards. You know, I hope this goes down through the ages where, you know, when his kids go to school, that, uh, you know, they remember. It's like, hey, you remember your father made fun of the Yankees, you know, and then all through their, their growing up that they'll make fun of them. You know, Sad I mean, day. Yeah, exactly. It's just so you know? funny. The guy just never wins. He just never wins. It's just, uh, it's pathetic. And unfortunately, we had to prove it this way. There's a guy. Hey. Wait a second. Scott, the engineer's here. Hold on. I'm hanging up on Hank. Who cares about his movie? I'm hanging out everywhere. Oh, Just what, look at you. Oh, oh, you look funny, man. This is what I couldn't wait to see. You've got some physique. <laughs> I know. I know. You know what it is? He came out with his pants on and his shirt off. He's trying to break us into it. Yes. Gently. I Just go get your thong that on. I full effect. No, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on. Get in your outfit. I'm telling you, they don't fit. <laughs> so what? That's the Please idea. It's a thong. Them. What thong is going to fit you? Look at that belly. Yeah, like they make a thong for somebody. <laughs> look at your boobies. God, you have no muscle tone whatsoever. I know. I know. But you do have hair. You know what his sport is? Smoking. <laughs> That's the body you get. Not and he's well, not yeah. even working out anymore. <laughs> look at that. I gave up working out. And look, there's a young Hollywood actress looking at that. <laughs> That's the best. Look at that, the tile is breast. Tile is breast out. We're going to get arrested by the FCC. <laughs> oh. The hair doesn't uh, count as tile. <laughs> <laughs> look how he has hair all, all over. over. Let me see your back. Turn around. He, he's got hair all over his body except on that he, on the top of his head. I'm telling you, this thong is no good. What? Just no, get in your no, thong. No. Of course it's no good. No, no good. No. What do you mean? No. You can get into it. I'm wearing it now. Oh, you well, are? Take well, take pants. off your pants and let's see it. <laughs> what? What is, what is his problem? Am I going to have to sit here and whine all day? I'm no homo, but I'll go in. All right, go take a go look. Put it on and I'll determine whether he's it's got it on. Go in the bathroom with him. Go in. To hang it. <laughs> Go, just get in the bathroom. Baba with him. He's got it under Baba his Baba pants. Boy. Get in there. Baba, 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 boy. Like we're gonna be able to see something on yeah, him. Yeah, like, like he even has a penis. Homo. Your wife, y your wife yells at you so much you probably have a vagina. <laughs> I wonder what Scott did to piss off God in a previous life. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, God. Howard, it's perfect. It is. It's ah! perfect. Of course. It's, I mean, it's exactly what it should be. It's a thong. I knew it. Well, yeah, God, he doesn't want to... That's perfect. the bet, man. That's why it cost me a thousand bucks. Okay, hold on. I'm going to help put the bra on. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he don't want to be in a thong. He doesn't want to look bad. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, I didn't realize I'd have to show my ass. Uh, this thong doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we put up a thousand bucks. Yeah, you know, that wasn't chumping. Right. Yeah. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe in. I know he wouldn't. Oh! They're going to have to rubber band that bra. He's not squeezing into his bra. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in one. Okay. Okay. That's one right. hook. One eye hook. Okay. All right. Get ready, everybody. Here comes Scott. He's got his dunce cap on. Not and yet. And his heels. And his heels. <laughs> i got to have the heels. It doesn't work for me unless i got heels. Scott, push it in. I'm trying. What's he pushing yeah. in? His, his, you know what, he, Howard, that's okay. Just push it in that that's okay. Are they talking about his penis? Uh, yeah, no, it's the things that are attached to them. Oh, oh. all those. <laughs> wow. He still has those? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's okay. I thought he'd been thoroughly Didn't emasculated. Didn't know he had that. Didn't know he had that. He's got to walk around the block in New York City. That's going to take him a good 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. 15. Hey, especially in those shoes. Yeah. It's going to be a nice slow trot. <laughs> oh, let me get your shoes. <laughs> no running in those shoes. <laughs> He's so fat, too. He put on 20 more pounds since he quit smoking. 40, remember? Oh, 40. Yeah. Jesus Christ, 40. <laughs> wow. Come on, Scott. I want to see how pretty you look. He just gave me the, you've been in this position, don't goof on me look. All right. <laughs> Imagine, like, a scary Marv Albert comes out uh, in that outfit. Yes. Well, it, it looks a lot like the, the renderings that people have set, been sending us of what Marv might look in his <laughs> Right. It's panties. scary. Like a bald guy with bra and panties. I got to tell you, the shoes do it. Yeah. He's almost ready. Chris All Rock right. said that, uh, you know, how you know? I can understand a guy in bra and panties is, but garters. You, see, you can't even get a broad in garters. Right, women don't even do. That. Like you say to your wife, "Hey man, get in some garters for me." And she's like, "Hey, f you." I don't okay. even have garters. Please, please. Right, what is a garter? Oh, please. Shh, shh, ladies and gentlemen, comes. here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. I present You'll be you. seeing this on the e show. Scott the engineer. Ah ha ha! Look at 
Look how fat you are. <laughs> look at that. Turn around, man. I got to see. Oh, look at his ass. Oh, man. It's like, it's gross. Look at it. Oh. I can't see in the middle of the floor. Oh, Come over here. Let Robin see. She paid oh, almost. Oh, oh, my God. Come God, here. Look at Oh, 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 my goodness, that song, you disappeared. Oh, my God. Now, you got to walk around the block, Scott. He should, we should take a break and then have him do his walk yes, around the block. Yes, It's funny because the, the loser's dunce cap yeah. is like an Yeah, it's got like a Hasidic thing going on. <laughs> Scott, you look kind of cute. Everybody should leave work and get out on the street. They don't want to miss this. Wow. Yeah, what, what, what block will he be walking around? I don't even know where our building this is. is. 57. Oh, he'll be walking around on uh, 56. 56. Okay. 56 between 5th and 6th, a little bit closer to 6th. Yeah. Wow. He's not going to do an around the block, just up and down? No, around the block. Once around the block. Once around the block. Nice quick trot. Now that you've seen me. Can now, I come here. Come here. Step <laughs> out. Yeah, but step out. Come over here. No, no, come no, over no. here. Take a little walk. Let me come see. On, let me see how you're going to parade around the street. Howard, it's for TV purposes, it's better if he just walks up and down 56. I'm sick of TV mind. purposes. For you understand mind. me? I've had it with TV purposes. I want him around the block. Watch okay. him walk well, away. You, you, I can still shoot it, but then you're going to miss it. You won't be able to see him at what? point. Why is why is everything sabotaged by my people? Yeah, I can have him walk around the block. There'll be a point where you can't see it. What? It's for you to see it. If you want to see the whole thing... Oh, just handle it. Okay, thank you. Ruining my fun, goddammit. Scott, God, take a little it. walk around the studio. Now stop telling me every minute to, to fix my hair and my glasses. I'm ugly. I'm proud of it. I want people to tune in and see how ugly I am. He said, he said fix your shirt. What? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm sick of him. Yeah. Put him in a bra and panties. There's a guy who should be in a bra and panties. He's in tandem downstairs. Right. God, just step out a little bit. Don't put on that robe. Look at that. Uh, don't put on your robe, you baby. Come on. You look so Why sweet. Come here. That? He's a big teddy bear. <laughs> I can me? see why women dig you. Do me? Look at how much he filled that bra. Yeah, I mean, that's scary. <laughs> You really fill that bra. <laughs> Everybody in the office all wants to come and see him. my biggest fan. Well, let, let, Amy, Amy's dying to see him. I'll let Amy come in and look. Yeah. No, no, take your, take, your, take your robe off for a second. Amy, I will turn you on so no, much. Take your believe. towel off. He has take a chin take strap off. and no chin. Yeah, right. Amy, wait, look, look. Take it off, Take it off. Scott. She's already laughing. He's in a robe. Come on, Scott. Take off your robe. <laughs> take off your robe. <laughs> 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 Turn around and let him see your pretty ass. Give him the full effect. Give him the full effect. They'll see it on the street. Don't shot, shot, I gotta tell you, shot, shot, Howard, shot, shot. it's awesome, but yeah. the ass makes the whole thing. I know, it's it the does. ass. You know what I like about it? His ass is like one square block. His ass looks like prune face. Yeah. Is this some show or what? Can we paint a happy face on you his ass? What? There is oh. such, That's not part of the deal. I know. There is such an amount of canvas there yeah. to work with. <laughs> All right, Scott, why don't we do this? We'll take a break. That'll give you a chance to get down to the street. He's killing me. Are you sure there's not some little sign you want to put he's on his butt? Me. No, he's, nah, that's, he's, he's complied with the deal. No lipstick or nothing? No. Nah. Come on, we did that already. You are a loser. Oh, boy. Oh, I love it. And he'll be chomping on that gum as he's walking down the street. You know, Scott, right now there's a woman on the phone who wants to give me phone sex. I there's, used a woman, to, uh... there's another woman on the phone who wants to pleasure herself in a bathtub while I listen, and this is more erotic to me than it is. <laughs> I'm glad I turned you on. It's the unbelievable. one thing we're missing is like a Yankee pennant or something. Yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, you know? we are missing. Would you hold the Yankee pennant? I used to enjoy working here. Yeah, he's, he's Miss Yankees. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a break. When we come back. Scott will be downstairs. We can watch him on TV. Take your triumphant walk. Take your triumphant walk in your bra and panties. It's like coming out of the boulevard. Look at him. He's oh, so this is great. This is just so good. He looks so peculiar. Oh, my Oh, Marv Albert's on the phone. He just, you know, Scott's going down to the street now in his bra and panties, but I, I wanted to talk to Marv first. Well, he can relate. Marv, um, is there anything wrong with a guy in bra and panties? Howard, there is nothing wrong with a gentleman expressing himself through his attire. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you are here to say what? That Scott should not be embarrassed to be out on the streets of New York in his bra and panties? No, not at all, but I would like to give him some advice, if I may. Please, Marv. How are you, by the way? Uh, I'm, uh, I could be better. <laughs> you know, you sound like you're in pretty good spirits for a guy who's been through what you've been through. Well, Heather and I have been up all night long rehearsing. Rehearsing, rehearsing what? what? Well, we're just rehearsing with each other. Just rehearsing in case of what? In case we get a threesome. 
Oh, I see. Oh. It must be pretty boring for you to be holed up in a hotel room with your, you know, fiance. Well, how and... do you get a guy in there? Well, we were hoping that Scott could do a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> Marv. Yes. Do me a favor. Give me one of your trademark yeses. Yes. Ah, uh, that's great. As a matter well, of fact, we can't hear that anymore. Hal. It's hard to hear that anymore. Yeah. That's true. You know, Marv. Uh, tell me about uh, Scott the Engineer. What What is it like for a man to put on a bra and panties and walk through the streets? Well, first of all, Howard, there's a few things that you've got to keep in mind when you're dressing up in a, in a provocative way. First of all, you have to make sure that your nuts are tucked in their correct position. <laughs> right, because you want to look like a woman, right? That's right, yes. It could be up in the middle, to the left, or to the right. So it, doesn't, it, it, it all depends on the way you're, you're fitted. What did you prefer? Actually, uh, I was the split right up the middle. <laughs> that sounds painful. Hey, Marv, uh, really, this is uh, tremendous that uh, you're willing to talk about this kind of stuff. It's kind of like you're doing the play-by-play -play for Scott as he walks down the street. I, I could, yes, I could do that. Good. We'll probably keep you on the line during all of this confusion. What other advice do you have for Scott the engineer? Well, he, he, he should also suck in his butt, Howard. Right. Uh, and, and try not to uh, break wind. It's really a big turnoff for the ladies and for the men. You know, uh, you were an extra feminine kind of uh, woman. You always wore garters and uh, all that kind of stuff. Should we have put Scott the Engineer in garters? Well, I don't know about that. He's is a large gentleman, I remember. And uh, I think if he popped one of those, he could take out a small child. <laughs> all right. Any other advice? Uh, yes. If his nipples get hard, uh, he shouldn't worry. It's only natural. <laughs> you know, you're so full of advice. That's why people love you. Yes. All right, let's see if Always we... Always very knowledgeable. Let's see if we can't get out on the street. Let me see if I can find uh, Scott the Engineer. Scott, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Hello. Yes, okay. Uh, are you taking off your robe? The robe's off, man. All right, here we go. He is walking down, Robin. If you watch the television hand. screen... Is They're all out here? Out There's a couple of is fans already. Loud? The fans are going wild. This is just impromptu. People collecting on the street. There are police officers... Scott, be, be proud, it's all wet. Be proud, Scott. Be proud. Mark says, "Be proud." What was that? Be proud. Um, Scott is wearing a giant dunce cap. He is the Jonas. He cost the Yankees really the proud. game last night. Howard, tell him not to fight anybody while he's out there. They're throwing money at me. All right, Scott is in bra and panties. I got to see the back back view of his uh, thong and tuchus. He walks so femininely. Marv, are you uh, jealous? Actually, he's, 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 he's All right, what a crowd. Sing a show too, Marv says. Hey, uh, Scott. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Scott is walking. Scott, talk to me. What do you think of my outfit? Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Scott is talking to various people on the street. Marv, hang in there with us. We'll get back to you in a second. There are people taking pictures of Scott's behind. There's a gentleman oh, taking a picture. There are tons of fans taking pictures. People walking behind him screaming, loser. He's in high heels. He's in a thong. Oh, hey, hey. Easy. You're the one that's a loser. You use that language, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Guy used the F word. I had to bleep him off the air, Robin. He called Scott an effing loser. Scott started yelling back at him. There were guys giving Scott uh, money. Watch the cord. They tried to stuff it into his G-string. There's no room. It's like scores. You know his legs aren't half bad. All right, man. Ah! There's no butt. It's a Frito Lay man here. He has no buttocks. Look at that. His whole his whole buttocks is just. <laughs> it's gonna be a rape. He's standing over a grate. Must Go think he's Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Yeah, he thinks he's Marilyn Monroe standing over that grade and waiting for the wind to How blow up. You like my... Whoa! Talk to some you people, like Scott. Outfit? Oh, gosh, you're so sexy. You're a turn-on. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what, you got something for me. Wait well, she's there. reaching into her pocketbook to give him money. Give him a cigarette. Give him a cigarette. <laughs> $20. $20. Take it off. Take it all off. Take it all off. <laughs> that's, that's a frightening thought. I'm not a dancer. Give her a dance, Scott. Give her a dance. Give her a dance. You know you want the 20. Wait, I'll give you a little peek. <laughs> oh, he's doing her. He's flashing. He's showing a nipple. That ain't worth 20, man. A woman's putting $20 in his G-string. This wasn't a bad idea for Scott. Hey, man. I'm making more than 1000 down here. Scott doesn't have much of a penis, does he? No, 
not, you know, he's not having to tuck away much. He's trying to be a good sport. He's putting a good face on it. Scott, can you hear me? Yeah, so that's always important, though, Howard. I don't think Scott can hear me. Scott, can you hear me? No, I hear you. Okay. Why don't you do a little dance? A, a, a little dance? Hey, yeah, you might get some more tips. What, 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 what pee -pee dance? dance? Yeah, do a pee-pee dance. Pee-pee pee -pee dance. dance. <laughs> hey, man. You're a stud, Scott. You're a stud. Oh, thank, oh, thank you very you much. much. I appreciate that. Scott, give her a dance. These hot chicks, man, they're just unbelievable. They love me. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves you. I love the belly jiggling as he walks. Yeah. Pretty frightening. All right, Scott, thank you. Okay, man. Anytime. You're the boss, man. Can I have the robe, please? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that ass. He's such a loser. Hey, give him a shot of my ass, man. Uh. You know, anyone he bets, he always loses. I want the rope. Rope, please. <laughs> like someone's going to give it to him. Stand there, let him yell. Marv, yes. I guess uh, it's not that humiliating being in a bra and panties. You wish you were out there, don't you? Well, you know what, Howard? I, I never thought I could say this before, but I think Scott is actually a bigger loser than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only lost your job. He lost his dignity. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, I know what's go Scott, what's going on out there? I'm putting, putting the rope on, all right? Okay. All right, thanks. Some chicks coming on to Scott. Yeah, maybe he uh, should walk around in bra and panties all the day. Well, at least it gets him some attention. So well, to tell Scott that I'll meet him over at Victoria's Secret and tell him how to pick up some good stuff. Well, Marv, you went for, like, uh, muscular black guys, right? Yes, yes, uh, but a white guy every now and then to throw it into the pot isn't bad either. Right. All right, Marv, thanks. Thank you. Okay. There he is, Marv Albert. Scott the Engineer taking his triumphant walk. Wow. <laughs> what a great bet, and I knew I'd win. Oh, it was the best. Yeah. That was so funny. He is frightening. <laughs> Look at him. He's still there. <laughs> He's still standing out on the street. Why are you still out there? All right, we're going. Let's Scott, go. why are you still out there? Let's go. This is great. Scott, why are you still out there? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, uh, for Gandhi. <laughs> Look at the police looking at him. Robe. <laughs> Robe now. He's starting to get angry now. <laughs> Hello? What is it, Gorillo? Howard? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They're trying to communicate with me. We've never actually worked Hello? that out. Yes, Gorillo. Stupid. He'll answer that name. Stupid. Yeah. Okay. What, uh, what do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me? Ah. All right. It is a, it's a smooth operation here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was great. I had to win that bet. Uh, I'm sorry the Yankees lost. But it was worth it. Hello? Uh-oh. Yeah? <laughs> Oops. Oh, there's Scott the engineer. We're talking about a pro here, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Scott, man, you are fat. Look at the, look at, look at the back of him. <laughs> I'm a... More? Yeah. Oh, you are. <laughs> Look at your belly. Turn around and show Howard what's going on in the back there. What do you eat to get that fat? Hold on, phone sex. Lady. I don't know. No, what do you eat? I don't work out. Really? I know you don't work out. You don't care what you look like? Well, I do, but I... I guess you don't care. It was more It was more at this point... You're you married and you're a loser. Smoking? No, I wanted to... You know, that's where right. I gained all the weight. Right. Turn around. I say Scott's such a loser now that he quit smoking, he still gets cancer. Yeah. He's Come one on. of those guys that he didn't quit in time. Well, I told you, it won't make any difference. Right. His lungs will still be the same. A year from now, we could test his lungs. They'll still be as bad Let's as they are Let's do the test today. this Christmas and see if there's a Or you know what'll be funny? He doesn't get cancer, but he has a heart attack from going up in weight. Oh. <laughs> That'll be funny. I know it's going to be one or the other. Yeah. I still say we're going to be at his funeral within two years. Look at him hopping, hopping and puffing just from walking. All right. The shoes are killing me. Uh, <laughs> Come out here and turn around one more time. Howard has to see the back of you one more time. Yeah, let me just see your back. That is so funny. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't take it, huh? Wow. Use Unbelievable. the way you want it. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, go change it. It's, it's sick of it. Thanks. Thank you. You should wear that at your gigs. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> So fat. <laughs> <laughs>
Cleveland to win. Right. When Scott bets his own money, he loses. This guy just financed Scott and told Scott what to bet. When Scott, I had a feeling. Yeah, when, when Scott really has something to lose and Scott has uh, his picks and uses his convoluted logic, he lo he's still a loser. <laughs> See, you're saying, in other words, that he would have picked Cleveland. Of course. If it was up to him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He came in this morning, uh, the jinx is broken. Uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> he knows it isn't because he never would have bet again. The only reason he bet is a guy handed him $100 yeah. and said, here, bet. That, that guy made the bet. I told him it wasn't his money. No. It wasn't his bet. Yeah, believe me, that had no bearing on his <laughs> jinx. The jinx is still very much on. I'll bet him anything right now, and he'll lose. All right, let's do that. Anything you pick, I'll bet him. <laughs> you name it. I'll bet him whether or not, you know, the temperature's going to go up 10 degrees or not. I'll still lose. <laughs> Cleveland, uh, you know, the Rocky Calvano curse, you know about this? No. Cleveland is a cursed team. Fifty years without a uh, World Series. Uh, and you know why they say it? What? There was a player named Rocky Calvano. And what happened to him? What was the guy's name? Rocky Calvano, right? Was it Calavano or Calvano? Was it Calavito? Calavito. 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 Rocky Calavito. Johnson's VR football. Well, what was that? That's the Calavito curse. That was the Calavito curse. <laughs> you just mentioned his name and things go wrong. Rocky Calavito was a player in the 50s. I think it's the Calavito, right? I think it was the 40s. How do you say his last name? Calavito. 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 Because they haven't won in 50 years. Yeah. So it's got to be like... This guy, Calavito, I think was fired from Cleveland. T tell the story. I don't even know the I'm, name. I'm almost not sure myself, but I think they traded him, and uh, he put some sort of a curse on the team. Yeah. And the people oh. of Cleveland actually believe this, and that's why they haven't won a World Series in 50 years. Who do you think put the uh, Rocky Calavito curse on Scott the Engineer? <laughs> By the way, Scott, don't even act no, I knew like you, your curse I, no, is lifted. No, I knew there would be some kind of... Uh, no, no, you were already be, complaining uh, this morning, Howard. Kind of How come when I lose, they bring me right on, but now that I won, they're not talking we're to me. They're bringing you right in. <laughs> you won, okay? Big deal. You won $100 from Gary. I know. And uh, I know that that guy programmed you. It's not the same thing. When you bet your own money and you sit there and the beads are swept good on your bald head, I know that your mind is going. It was my own money. Yeah, okay. He gave me a hundred dollars and I bet it. He gave you a hundred dollars and said you have to bet it. Way to bet, too. right? Hey, Howard, I yeah. would have bet Marlins anyway. There's a Monday night game. Okay. Sure, you would. There's two Monday night games. Yeah, actually, th there's two games tonight if you wanted. To oh, football games. Yeah, who's playing tonight? The yeah. Dolphins against the Bears. Right. And the Patriots against the Packers. Scott, any bet you want to make on those with me with your own money, uh, I'll take because you'll lose. You want to bet? Now, look, you see the, you see the face? <laughs> see the gum? Okay. The you, see, you see the eyes <laughs> closing? Do me a favor. I'm a Jets fan. Yeah. Bet on the Patriots. No, 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 no. Let him. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, 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 the pool. Dolphins, uh, you get it. Uh, if, if you you can give him as much yeah. advice as you want. I don't we go away. No points. Can we go with points? No, just straight no, bet. Straight All right. Dol Dol Dolphins against who? The Bears. Take the Dolphins. Well, yeah, the Bears are going to get their ass kicked. Yeah, but see, that's I won't give you that bet. He won't give me the bet. No, no. I'm leaving. Come on. That's why. But that's why I'm a winner. Yeah. But that's why I'm a winner. Well, I'm not betting either where I'm going to lose. No, you got to bet a game that no, makes sense. No, I don't have to bet a game. Wait, I don't you have to bet anything. That's like saying, hey, Scott, I'm going to walk that's across. Right. I'm going to walk I'm across. Not, no. Forget about it. Okay, right. I don't have to bet you. The guys the got too much. So You're I a loser. Bet. You're a loser. You can never win a bet. I just want to bet. Yeah, but the and bet's got to be based. I a bet that I could win. The so bet's got to be based on intelligence. You're trying to set it up so you win and I lose. I'm not going for that. I got to believe in the bet. I'm not a loser. You're right. In other words, Howard doesn't believe in the bet. Come on, Scott. Come on. Scott, I bet you. Scott. This is world wrestling. <laughs> Scott, if I walked across the street right now in Manhattan yeah. with, against the red light, I would probably get hit by a car. I wouldn't bet that. I'll take that. that bet. You would take that <laughs> bet. Yeah, of course you would. Scott should do it blindly. What I'm saying is you're a loser. Any bet that I make with you, you will lose. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're going to bet like a, a high school you team just, against a, a you professional just said team. You'll take any bet, the two games. Any bet that I like. Then I take the bet right, and you say no. Right, any bet I like. The other game is more it, it's right, closer. It's Patriots it. against the Packers, which is only a two point spread. Yeah, yeah. That's, now, that's, now let's that's bet a, that that's one. That's a potluck game, man. Right. So I mean, you're right to show that you can bet. So this is your chance to show that you know sports. And that the curse is This, is perfect. this is perfect. You said this is a potluck no. game. You seem exactly. to know everything I don't about know. it. No, it's a toss-up game. Anybody can win that so game. So you know a lot about no, football. I don't know anything. Then make a bet. Take either Who's team. It? Which team do you want? <laughs> Where is the game? I look at it. Is that New England? In New England. Yeah. I'll take New England. Who do you want? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, right away, now he, now he doesn't want to bet. No, let him say first. No, I don't want that bet. New England just lost to uh, the Jets. I don't want that bet. You don't want it? No, then forget it. One or the other. All right, he doesn't want it. What bet do you want? Have him take New England, Howard. So take New England. I'll give you New England. Do you want New England? I don't want the... It's a butt-luck game. I mean, you want to bet me something ridiculous like Chicago. Chicago's in the toilet. Yes. I'm not going to win any game. 
Well, I mean, that's the bet. Well, I mean, you know, that was the bet. Yeah, that was the bet. <laughs> See, he can't bet. He can't bet with his own money. That's right. Because he'll lose. That's right. All right, would you bet? I will admit that. It proves would my point. Bet? I admit it. So you, you ask, absolutely. When it comes to money, I cannot bet money. Right. Okay? You so lose. what's the point? So what? I mean, Howard, all we need to do is, so as long as you know you're still a loser, that's that. all. Howard, all we need to do is start a card game on the air, and it'll be over five minutes. Right. In terms of betting money, I'll tell you what, Gary. Go get me a deck of cards. Oh, you play high draw. Go get me a deck of cards. I'll play high draw. You want to play high draw right now? And how much? Money, are you playing for you, hand? Just tell me, a hundred dollars a hand. <laughs> you want to play? What are you out of your mind? You just won a hundred. <laughs> you just put up your hundred. No, no, no. Uh, what? I thought the curse was broken. He is no. the biggest loser. He knows when it comes to money, yeah. you're absolutely correct. Right. Really? I don't want you to think that his curse has been lifted. Right, because he's walking around crowing. No, he, he can't crow. It's that other guy who won, not him. It'll do. When he has to put up his own money, forget about it. That's right. He's sitting there now going, I'm up $100. I don't want to blow it. I'm, I'm willing. To, I want to keep my 100 I'm, No, I'm willing to admit He's up 200 because the first 100 he got for free. Right. right. But I said, but he said to give it back to him if I won. You don't have to. Okay. Where are we going to find that yeah, guy? Yeah, is right. he coming back here? Let yeah. him try to get it. <laughs> it cost him too much money to collect. No, I mean, like, Scott, if you came to me and said, hey, right now I'll bet you $100 that Giuliani is going to win the election, that would be a stupid bet for me to make. I'm saying any bet where you actually have to sweat it out and think, mm -hmm. you'll lose. I no. bet the governor's yeah. race in New Jersey. I know that. No. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's, that's going to be Whitman. She's calling in today, by the way. And I'll well, tell you why. Bet it. I'll tell you why <laughs> Governor Whitman should win. I don't okay. want to think so. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of hers. Uh, hey, listen, um, let me take a break. Do you think Scott could... All right, Scott doesn't want to bet the one game, but does Scott think he could pick 100%? Bet both games, and he has to win... Both. He has to pick both winning teams. He can't do it. Forget it. It's, it's he's jinxed. But he, he, I'm willing to admit that. I know that when it comes to money, if I didn't bet so money, I would win. win. But your if I put was over. when I put the money down, I'm a loser. He, he is. Bet, he loses. Yeah. That's a gambler's lament. Right. Yeah. I picked the winners. I just didn't bet on them. Right. right. <laughs> I mean, I know that. I, that's why I don't bet anymore. I mean, it's just that's what happened. How about when he knew Cleveland was going to beat the Yankees and he bet the Yankees? Right. That's right. He knew. He knew. He, he went knew. the wrong way, and I knew it. I went the wrong way. Because yeah. he's stupid. That it's not even that he's stupid. Because my mind went my mind. He's a loser. My mind went with my heart. You are such a my zero. My mind went with my hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. I have... Your mind went with your hair. Yeah. I'll buy that one. I love... <laughs> <laughs> I love Scott, but he is a loser. <laughs> Come on, we got to get some betting. Where are the cards? He has the face of a beaten man. We're working on it. I'll bet uh, that Robin gets lost again. I'll bet Robin gets lost again. <laughs> 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 All right. He's such a zero. Uh, <laughs> bet the pack of games so we have some fun to watch. You bet it. No. Oh, I'll bet it. It's no so funny. If you yeah. don't bet. Mm -hmm. bet. Let's start somebody on a new streak and see who else could be a loser. No, you're the only one here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. He, he's like, I knew he wouldn't bet. He wants to hold on to his $100. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a given. I mean, you know, if this, you know... Things that happen in this world. Have a lot of money, but suppose you play the odds with him. How? Like you know, you know, suppose you gave him a couple, a couple of points. Like, no, no, I don't want that. Right. No, 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 no. Well, he, you get he, it? He's got to be a real bet. All right. You can't be like we want him. We got to sucker him into a bet. It's got to be something that he believes in. Right. right. Yeah. As soon as he believes yeah. in it, it's garbage. Like, I, like right. the day that Cleveland was playing uh, the Yankees. Mm -hmm. Scott was walking around here crowing how he was an expert, how he knew who was going to win, that Cleveland was going to beat the Yankees. He's going down. He knew it, he knew it, he knew it. I was right. And then I called but him I bet in. on the wrong thing. I said, Scott, bet away. I'll take any amount of money you want to bet. Bet on anything. Because you are a loser. And then he bet the Yankees. He knew, he knew, he knew. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx on <laughs> I knew. I knew it. I, I... I knew. I knew. Well, I, I, knew. I knew. Not my head. If you knew so much, how come you ended up in a bra and panty showing your whole ass to the I world? I got a gut feeling I got a huge gut because I was stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to take a break. And we get him to bet right nope. now. But we will. Nope. Yeah. We will again. We He'll bet again. Oh, yeah. You can't force it you out of him. You can't help it. It's got to be when he has the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> when he knows better than anyone. Yeah, yeah, he slips and he lets you know. I don't feel a coming yet. <laughs> tell my wife, I'm going to win $100 today, honey. <laughs> You're on a roll. Today I'm going to collect my winnings. You're not going to believe it. I have $1,000 I'm going to win. <laughs> Very simple bet. Hey, I made, you know, 20% of it. Well, I made 20% of it. No, that's right. No, that's right. I could do math. Oh, $100. <laughs> that's right. <laughs>
All right, let's uh, take a break. Did you stay up and watch the game last night? No. Nah, no, no way. It's in the bag. Who cares? I did get up about midnight and turn the TV on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see how you did. I didn't stay up. Uh, I couldn't sleep. A yeah. <laughs> hundred dollars. I was checking on my investment. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Bop, 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 bop. A buoy. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> what, you get a funny fax? What do you got? You know, we just played, uh, uh, we just did a Heineken commercial. Yeah. And somebody just faxed. I heard the only way Jackie's mom could get him to breastfeed was to paint her breast green like a Heineken. And put a red star on him. That's very true. <laughs> Problem was, he was 18 at the time. <laughs> do you think Scott the Engineer could do one push-up? One? Sure, you can do one. I just was having that thought. You think Gary could do five? I bet you yeah. he... No, Gary's a good athlete. Really? What Deceptively do you think, so. I think he could do five. You do? Yeah. He can amaze you because even at that weight, he can do a lot. Wish he could do his job. You yeah. mean a real put, like where you go all the way down That's and where touch and go all the way back How many push-ups can you do? I gotta think that I can do certainly minimally ten, right, and probably twenty good ones. I yeah. think I could do at least twenty, 20 good, good ones? ones. I don't think yeah. you can do twenty. I, I think, I, think I can. Really? I think I can. Pretty heavy. It's a lot you of weight. I would bet he Scott couldn't do twenty. Challenge you to I'll well, bet you, Jackie. I bet you. You bet me what? Do, I'll bet Jackie that guy could do over, you know, twenty or over. Yeah, but you see, you got to I know what a good push-up is. That means I'd lay my hand flat on the floor. I'd have to he feel his chest touch the right. flatness yeah. of my his hand. His body straight. He goes all the way back up. Yeah. He has to hold the rest of it. Yeah. I mean, a real push-up. You can do 20. I, I wonder if you think Scott the Engineer could do two? Yeah. I think he could yeah. do two, but I, I bet you he couldn't. He could do I, five. I say Scott the Engineer can't do two push-ups. I think ten is his max. I say, I say five. I can, I'm talking seven. about real push-ups, not girl uh, push-ups. No way. No five. girl push-ups. You know what I mean? When you go on your knees. That's <laughs> one knee thing. Yeah, one knee. Girl push-ups. He'll be able to do five. No way. Hey, be much Five. Better. I'll take that he bet. Lugs, he lugs that the oh, disco equipment. How much you want to bet he can't do five? He doesn't like it. He pays somebody to like it. five, too. A five? Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet yeah. you can't do one. They're not that hard. Oh, five is an easy bet. I'll tell you, he can do five. I'll tell you where you can get Scott good. I'll five. bet you he can't do f more than three chin-ups. Oh, chin no, that's for sure. No, no way. How many can you do, Fatso? Maybe four or five. I don't have a tried in a long time. What do you, you call a chin-up? These or the... Oh, you're talking about these? Yeah. I, guess, I guess I could do three of these, maybe. What, what? The ones with the overhand? Yeah, I bet I could do, like, maybe three of those. I mean, I couldn't even do those I when I was I guarantee you couldn't do three. I don't have, have any place I, I could to probably test do five. that here. The whole building. We can get a chinning bar. <laughs> what is it, Kathy? Scott doesn't want to come in. Why? Well, because he can't do one. Oh my Scott, God! Get it? I told you. How much you want to bet? How much money you got on you? Five, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? You say he can do five push-ups? No, I'm only so, betting ten. So, <laughs> don't even bet ten. You're gonna lose. You want to lose ten dollars? He has to be able to do five. If he can't do five, I'll beat him. Robin, do you know why he's not walking through that door? He can't do one. I got twenty bucks. Says he can't do five. Uh, it's, please. I'll, I'll take I, a thousand I, bucks. I think he can do five, but not many more than no. that. Like, like, and you know what, Gary? I don't mean any kind of push-ups at all. <laughs> I don't think he can do five girl push-ups. <laughs> he is so out of shape. Did you see him on that TV show? Oh, stop it. I saw him walking toward the uh, men's room today. Oh. And he's, he, you know, he's chomping on the gum and, the, you know, pulling up the pants because they're always yeah. sliding He's out. a mess. And he has no arm muscles whatsoever or chest muscles. I know. He's no upper body strength. I'll bet between Hers. Scott and Gary they can't do 20. All right, tell you what. I got the guy on the phone, Alex Carroll, who wrote the book on how to beat the speeding tickets. Okay. I'm dying to talk to this guy. And Scott's Scott not coming in. in. Scott's not coming in? Scott's coming in. Oh, he is coming and, in. And, and Tom bets it. Scott could do five. Tell Tom to shut up. Who okay. asked Tom's opinion? All right, I, like just, way, I like the way Scott moseys in when it's about him. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, oh, yeah. you need me now. Oh, where am I? You run out on the football field. <laughs> yeah. And he's already wheezing. Maybe I'm going to lose my money. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> he's so not humored by this. Look at him. Don't even tell me whether you can or can't. No. Okay. <laughs> Did you stop chewing gum? Oh, it's so annoying. He needs a sugar for energy. <laughs> he stinks like bubble gum the same way he stunk like cigarettes. You know You're never what, happy, you know man. You never. The, you, uh, the bubble gum makes me even crazier. You know what he says now? If it wasn't for this gum. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> hey, Howard, do you remember when Fred first quit smoking the way he used to go with his gum? Oh. Like, like with a terror. Oh. Like, 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 tearing, like a wolf tearing yeah. at meat. You felt exactly. sorry for the gum? Like you're angry at the gum. It's the it. gum makes me crazier than the cigarettes. I know, because that, that noise they make. Scott, sit right there. After I get done with Alex Carroll, who wrote the book How to Beat Speeding Tickets, Okay. we're going to do a little betting. <laughs> okay? You're going to make me some money today, fat boy. <laughs> How come I make everybody else money? And you I, can bet. I paid you your crummy hundred bucks. I know. But you can't bet on this one because it involves your physical activity. Yeah. I'll he, tell you what, he though. He knows what he can do physically. No. I know. he. Know, I bet you he can't do one push-up, but we'll bet the five. Jesus, if he can't do one, man, that's bad. He can, uh, he'll go down on that floor and never get back he'll up. He'll be able to do five. Okay. How much you want to bet? I'll bet you ten bucks. All right. You're on. I'll say five, too. What do you want? I'll bet you, I'll bet you ten bucks. Ten bucks it is. Anybody else? Jackie, can get some action with these guys. Hey, Robin, what do you want to go with me? Ten. I say he can, if he can't do five, he ought to check himself into a hospital. Right, and I'm going to put my hand on that floor. Do you, you know how to judge push-ups or not? But Gary, well, Gary, I think the way I've seen it done is you take your fist like this and you put it on the floor. No, no, no. No, 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 no I know no. how to do it. How do you do I know it? How to do it. <laughs> I think you put your fist on the floor and, no, and when you, you go you down. you got to open your palm. Yeah, you open your palm and you should be able to feel his chest tap your top of your hand. And then he's got to come all the way back up to where right. his arms and he can't. St and your ass can't be arched. You gotta be When's the last time you did a push-up? High school. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let me talk to you. Hold on. You just get yourself together. Yeah, right. Hey. Don't do another thing because we don't want you tiring yourself. <laughs> you think he can hurt himself, dude? I'm already. <laughs> All right, listen, what do you want to do next? we got we got about 10 billion things to do here. When are we going to get Scott, Scott in here, too? Uh, let's do Scott. Yeah. All right, let's review the betting. Okay. Yesterday on the air, I said to Scott the Engineer, who, if you saw the E! show and you saw him in bra and panties <laughs> when he had to go out there because he lost the bet, he bet uh, the Yankees in the World Series. But, uh, and he cost the Yankees the game. It was actually the playoffs when it was Cleveland and the Yankees. Right, he cost them the playoffs. I said to him yesterday, can you do one push-up? <laughs> Well, basically, if you look at him on the E-Show, you don't see any muscle. There's no muscle tone. I mean, there's just zero muscle tone, I must say. So anyway, I'm looking at Scott the Engineer yesterday, and I said, uh, can you do one push-up? And then Robin said, well, I, he's got to be able to do five. I figure, you know, he's a guy. He's got to be able to do five, right? There's plenty of guys I know can't do any. Really? Oh, yeah. Because I just always figure guys have, even if you can't see it, there must be some muscle there. Yeah, but look at the lard on him. <laughs> Wait, you know, the other thing about him is you're absolutely right. Everything else on him is big except his arms. Right. He has, like, little 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 pods for arms. Music the way you want it. <laughs> so I said, to, so Robin said, well, he's got to be able to do five. And then I said, oh, yeah, I'll bet you have $500. No. <laughs> and, he said, and you said, no, let's, let's be reasonable about this because this could go haywire. So we had, like, a friendly bet, like yeah, a $10, $10 bet. $10 bet. And then who else has bets? Jackie I have a bet. has a $10 bet with me. Right. I have a $10 bet with you. Oh, well, well, yeah? What do you think? You think he can do five? I think he can do five, but I think we should make... Actually, I think that to make it fair, we should give him an incentive if he does five. What? Because he's, he's just going to quit, you know? Why? His pride is at stake, man. There's nothing... He's got no pride. pride. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Look at, the, look at the picture behind you. You think the guy's got pride? Yeah, I think he's got some pride. He wants to be able to... Because like, I was talking to him yesterday in the production studio. I had to cut some commercials for around the country, which is always my most pleasant part of the day. <laughs> After you talk here for five hours, you're sitting cutting commercials. And some of the commercials I do around the country are unbelievable. Like some of the smaller markets. It's like, you know, Andy's Lube Shop. Oh, dear. It, it makes you feel like you're in... Uh, you're back. You're back. Yeah. <laughs> like your, your career, career hasn't has progressed. not progressed at all. It's really depressing. I don't know. So anyway, I said, can't you do... I, I said, can you do any push-ups? He goes, hmm. well, I could do... Uh, I think I could do two. All right, in an exclusive page 69, Jason and Will report that Howard, Robin, and Gary recently attended an invite-only party for advertising clients held in the lobby of Sirius. But one other Stern staffer, Scott the Engineer, decided to make his way over as well uninvited, making some serious executives very nervous, asking, how'd he get in here? <laughs> Turns out the unwanted and uninvited guest stood alone in the corner talking to no one for five to ten minutes, 
before leaving. Wow. wow. Howard, they, they said when Scott walked in, it was like a leper walked in the room. <laughs> they said, like, the executives here were like, they didn't want him to eat any of the food, and then he just laughed. <laughs> Well, they had purchased Nobu food, which is very expensive. What was Scott the engineer? What, why, why, why was he, he in up? there? No one um, invited I guess, him. I guess he thought there was a party. And, and, and he wasn't invited? He was going to crash. I, I don't know if he realized it was an invitation. You know, it is funny. They asked Howard, Robin, Fred, Artie, Benji, me, Richard, and Sal to come, and not Scott. So I guess Scott just figured they forgot to invite him. Oh. John Hine, they invited him. He's unbelievable. Can you imagine he just showed up at the client party and no one asked him to? <laughs> How's the yellow tail? I'm a huge uh, star. They just don't realize it. There are a lot of people who tune in to hear the adventures of Scott the Engineer. <laughs> Do they have any steam shumai? I was what? here and everybody kept saying, why aren't you going over there? Why aren't you going over there? And, Cause you, and, you, and your answer is because I wasn't invited. No, and everybody said, go over there. There's food. Go over there. And I didn't eat anything because I was on the diet, so I just went in. I mean, you know, no one... I don't know. Who was saying, why aren't you over there? Yeah, name a person who said to you, why aren't you over there? I think actually Sal and Richard said it. and um, They're goofing couple, on you. A couple other people. Yeah, I mean, it's embarrassing. You walk in and no one's looking for you. You're supposed to be an engineer. Just, who, who, what are you? Uh, who are you? I'm a food critic. Yeah. <laughs> and then you made a fool out of yourself. <laughs> are you okay. glad you what walked are... in? It was really fun. I stood in a corner like a lamp. I'm a, I'm a nobody. <laughs> Evidently, yes. Okay, fine. I guess I'm embarrassing to be around. Fuck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> He's going to shoot us all, man. I'm telling you. I, I, Scott, remember, I didn't say nothing. Me right? neither. I didn't, I didn't tell you not to go. You come in here with a fucking Uzi. You, you, it, you, was, it was Artie. You skip over me, man. Everything always goes wrong. <laughs> I'm making a videotape for NBC. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lisa G. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to play Winfred's Money. Maybe I I'm a I'm <laughs> Should I break first or should I? Uh... Yeah, you could. I could or yeah. should I? Okay. We're going to break and then we're going to play Winfred's Money. I'm still in shock. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Scott, the engineer's on a rampage. Just yelled at Sam Ben Ruby in the hall. Oh, dear. Sam's our sales guy here. But although, you know, I heard Sam and Ross were keeping... they were, What it is is they had a certain amount of sushi for the sponsors. Sure. And when they saw Scott walk in, they panicked. You know. But, I mean, really. He didn't need to be there. Right. So, I like that Sam and Ross keep... Scott out of the party. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> they might as well come. put up beside everybody but Scott. What'd you say to Sam? All I said was, if you had a problem with me, you should have said something to me. That's all. What all he had to do was say, he didn't. He didn't say anything to me. That's why he didn't invite you. No, I know, but he, he should have. He, he whispered, didn't invite you. He whispered, he whispered to Jason, "What? Why is Scott here? He should have come over to me and said, listen, uh, sorry uh, you're not invited.' Well, because maybe in he was busy. In the middle of a party." Well, Maybe he's I busy with the clients. In, I, I, real, I didn't eat. I walked in. I realized, I guess this is not the place where I should be, and I left. So I realized that I made a mistake. I like I, that Sam's like hovering over the food, watching, make sure you know. Don't let him get one. Yeah, that's sushi. the funny. That's What's the funny? Like, part. I like that Sam was so nervous he was obsessing over Scott being in the room. <laughs> that's great. I mean, you know, what was I going to do? Eat all the food? I mean, come on. What's it like to be you? I mean, you walk into a room and people go, "What's he doing it's here?" Fine, I'm having a good it's time. It's the here. opposite of being you. How? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, is it horrible? Hey, sometimes you wonder, like, you know, what disease do I have? I mean, what what did I do to offend these people? I don't, I don't right. get it. I mean, so, you you know, if you really analyze it, you're a guy on the show. You get a lot of airtime. Yeah. We write songs about you. We talk yeah, about you. No. you. You've been involved in a lot of major bits. I've been here 21 years. I've, I think I'm part and of the yet, show. And you now. walk in the room to a client party, and immediately the sales manager at Sirius goes, oh, Jess, what, yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> I know the clients knew who I am. They, a couple of them said hello, how you doing? Nice to be. And What's then, that like when like Ross and Scott have to go well, over? I they, mean, Ross and Sam go into a corner and go. We gotta get well, they're both the fucking assholes that are think they're in charge of something. But you don't, I don't like know what Ross, they do. do you? What? You don't like Ross? I know uh, that. He's for not a fact. one of my favorite people. Why? Is why that? don't you like Ross? He's just always been. You know, he, he's never liked me. I don't think. I mean, he's just. I mean, 
we oh, get along. Obviously, he wants you out of the room. We get along. I mean, I don't, I've, I've never, I've never gotten the feeling that he felt that he liked that he liked me. You know, I've always gotten. You're not feel- cool enough for him, I, is that it? Yeah, I'm not cool enough. You know, he was always your friend and close yeah. to you. Yeah, and cool guy. I'm not a cool guy. I shouldn't right. be hanging out with him, or you know, so huh. I've always gotten that attitude from him. Have you tried hanging out with him? No, I've, no, no. But I mean, there's no reason to hang out with Ross. He thinks but, he's better than you. I get that feeling. Yeah. Uh, you know, but like he's a cool guy. You're does not. He, speak he worked for a record company. He was right. a r- big record guy for a long so time. So when here you've been with the show twenty one years, Ross has been here all of three weeks. You walk in the room and he's trying to get you evicted from the room. Yeah, I mean, I, I That's mean, it's got to make you nuts. It doesn't make me nuts. It's just like eh, he's a fucking asshole. I mean, you know, I don't really pay attention to that. It doesn't really bother me. Can you imagine you walked in the room after being on this show twenty one years and Ross and Sam are standing in the corner going, "Now I know what you're trying to do." I'm not trying to do anything. I'm saying is that your? I'm not going to be horrible. I, you know, I didn't think you. of it that way. I didn't think of well, you, you know. Should. I didn't think of it that way. But I mean, you know, I mean, there are. Well, there are, they probably should have invited you. In fact, uh, I have a picture uh, of Scott standing at the client meeting. Really. By himself. Oh. Yeah. I, and it's on know, the website right now. I didn't want to, you know. I, I put it on HowardStern.com. You can see him standing there. Yeah. He's like a schlub. I, I didn't oh. want to. Let me see. Yeah, it's the best. I didn't want, you know. I didn't there want it is. To... There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Just standing there. Nice. It's like a foul odor in the corner. Yeah. I think I was on my way out. And Ross and, and, and Sam, they're, they're looking at you. What is he doing? They, no, they weren't worried about me. They were worried they're about like the Dean food, Wormer. the precious food they were worried about. They're like, he's, he's like, he walks in the room. He's like uh, Dean Warmer is looking at him with disgust. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes Scott, you know, have you seen your grade point average this week? You know, I think Ross thinks of him a piece of shit. I've you know been with the show so long, but I, I think he has no absolutely no. So what is it like to work on the Howard Stern show after 21 years and you walk into a, a room? And by the way, do you notice you're wearing the same exact clothing that yeah, you wore? Yeah, that... this is your party outfit. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Do you ever change your clothes? Different pants. But anyway, Scott, I'm gonna, pants. Scott, I'm going to tell you now what I told Those you. Those pants don't fit anymore. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it like, really, to walk into a room and then after all the years of service and being on the show and really being around the show more than Sam or Ross, and they go, what's he doing here? Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get, get rid of him. Well, I'm, like I said, I mean... How I know. I take you... it for a grain of salt. I, I don't, you know. You don't they're... even think about it. No, I, I, no, no, not really. How no. much commission do you think Sam made selling your push-ups bit? Too much. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Too much. You know that people that he he made money off of people that put out like Howard and Robin put out their own money. But how much? Uh, how much did he make in commission off your weight loss contest bit while you're working hard? Too much. Right. Do you still have hope that things will change for you? Like no, that... they'll never change. <laughs> they'll never change. This is going <laughs> to be you to the day you die. I try to change it, but uh, you know, you'll never be the bell of the ball. No. And you're right. A lot of clients were excited. A couple of guys from StubHub came up to me and said, "Hey, uh, why is Stan the engineer here?" <laughs> Is this the black cloud over your head? Like, you walk into the party, and, and they think like, Rich and Sal are there. They haven't even been with They're the show disgusting. half as much. They're too. callers. Right. Yeah. They're callers. And they're callers that got jobs on the show. <laughs> and you walk in, an accomplished engineer, and people are like, get him out of here. Is that the black cloud over your head? That must be. That's part of it. I mean, you know, what else could it be? I, I don't know. I, I told you, I don't have the, the greatest personality in the world, but... No? No. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. do you realize, is there anything you can do about, about the that? the bombshell. <laughs> do you realize if another radio show came in here tomorrow, the only person with a skill that they could use is you? That's right. You have the only skill in here. That... And they'd still keep you out of the party. <laughs> and I was going to say, the day of the party, they're going to ask him to leave. No. <laughs> I, I'm a, I wasn't upset. I mean, there was something going on until, until those assholes told me, you know, go in. There's food. Go in. You know, everybody. You know, well, don't blame the, them. Everybody I mean, from the show is, is. They were trying to be friendly and say, "Come on in." They didn't know you'd get a reaction like that. Well, Ronnie said they were trying. They to, were. They were. They were, ju- they were just trying to yank yeah. my chain. Oh, so they, they knew he hadn't been invited. Mission right. accomplished. <laughs> you no, know, I didn't. I didn't understand because I didn't really know what it was. I didn't. I would, didn't pay attention to it. I, you know. And uh, it, it wasn't bothering me that I wasn't asked. You know, I just thought it was a like come. To show, just come as you are. Come you know, hang out. Come, come out. What? Yeah, come, come hang out. Uh, you want, is, you uh, want to throw one more thing on? I, I feel, I, I actually feel bad doing this because uh, really Scott go. just gets shit on constantly. So big meeting yesterday. Tim Sabian, Steve, who's like the head of sports here. Oh, yeah, that got me a little. Um, uh, myself and Ronnie and Ross to talk about how we can incorporate See, Ross, NASCAR to the show. They Ross want to send everybody from the show. Again. They want to send everybody from the show to go to NASCAR races in hopes that maybe we talk about it, but. No, Scott. Scott wasn't. Uh... Yeah, this is, and I'm sure that's a Ross thing. I mean, Ronnie was involved, and I'm like, Ronnie, why you got 
you know, asked to go to all these races. I mean, again, that that this time that really got to me. This one. Because I'm sure you're that's into a, NASCAR. I'm sure that's a, um, yeah, NASCAR. me and Ronnie have been into NASCAR for the, the only ones for the longest time here. So what do you think? That everyone I, leaves I, you I don't out. Know, I don't know if it's Ross or see Ross. I told see, you. I seems like it's everyone. I mean, I get along with Ross, and we talk. He's never said fine. to me anything about you in any negative no, way. He doesn't think about him. Yeah, no, maybe he, that's it. I mean, he, you know, I think he just thinks I'm a low, really low level person attached to the show. Well, you are. I mean, <laughs> he considers you a barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> now, he considers now, Ronnie the limo driver more of a personality than you, and there's a guy who has the, a personality of a frog. <laughs> yeah, he does. Right. He does. He's, he's, he's see, a glom. See, I don't buddy up to anybody. Right. I don't make friends. I mean, I hang out with people here, but I don't get, you know, close to people that are... Why do you think that is? I just I'm don't, I just don't do you think it. it's people don't want to be close to you? <laughs> Probably. Well, Gary, you said that Ross has never said anything negative about Scott. Has he ever said anything positive about him? No, Howard might be right. I don't think Ross has ever said anything about him right. in a sentence. Exactly. Right. Like, I don't think we've ever discussed him. I am sure those guys just didn't even think of you to be a part of no, it. No, I'm sure they didn't. They said, no, I right. can't have him. All right. <laughs> you think that your name came up and Ross said no? Um... It may, it may have. The sad thing is, your name probably never even came up. Yeah. Okay, so that's even worse. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, honestly, because they're they're begging us to talk about NASCAR, and you, I, I, you I two love are NASCAR. on air. Yeah, I you mean, two are on air personalities that are I am actual going, fans. I am going to personally look into this. Yeah, what do you you don't have to. No, no, no I don't me. want you to. I, I don't like to ask you. I'm not asking uh, you. To I do know you didn't ask me a thing. I, I don't want you to ask. You I am going stuff. to look into it. I consider you a valued. Hey, you know, person. I take it if they don't want me. To, I wonder why they don't want me to go. I take it if they don't want me to go. Then I mean, there's nothing Scott, I can. Scott, you know, I can't. I said I'm going to look into it. You. I consider you a valuable person thank, around thank you here. Very much. Yes. I just found out that Russ does mention Scott. I, I was wrong. He brings NASCAR guys around a lot for a tour of the studio, uh -huh. and when he goes by Scott's studio, he tells them not to go in there or they're going to start losing. Yeah, right. ah. <laughs> That's totally true. I mean, he jokes around, but he goes, don't go in there. That's the black cloud. <laughs> right. Yeah, what was that NASCAR Tony driver? Stewart. But he's doing well. He's, he's doing well this year. So, um, you know. There's, there's Tony no. Stewart visited Scott's studio and then got into, like, major car accidents. That was last year. Yeah. Oh, I mean, really, he had the highest ranking. He had, what, was that, uh, the ratings at that point? Wasn't he pretty high up? He, I think he was. <laughs> he was number one. I he think was, he was number one. Oh. What? What, Gary? He was number one in points, and then he just, he completely fell off the map. No. You know, Gary, your upper lip is so sweaty. <laughs> what is that? What's, What's going, going on? on? I don't know. It's hot in here today. Well, why don't you take your sweatshirt off? I think it's cold. <laughs> Does that make cold? sense? What is I know, when I take it off, it gets. I feel cold, and when I put it on, I get a little warm. I, I don't know. The temperature's all over the place. I mean, you you, you look like Richard Nixon. All right, thanks. With a thick beard, and, and you got wet marks all over your upper lip. But you know, Scott's such a fucking loser, right? No, no, no seriously. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. What is it? It's sweat. <laughs> Why are you sweating? Take off your sweatshirt. And cool down. It, why is there I mean, a, a reason for everything? It's so disturbing to look at. Thank you. All right. All right. Get, get out of here, Scott. Thank, thank you. Nobody Scott's cares. Scott's just thanking the, thank you, thank you, thank you. the heavens for the sweat on Gary's lip. <laughs> yeah, right. The Sam Ben Ruby stopped Tom Brady from entering Scott's studios during a tour, too. Really? Yeah. Well, Remember Brady, that? These guys take that so seriously. No. It's no. true, though. Nobody can chance that. Nobody did, wants it. Did Brady actually walk by your studio because he lost to Peyton Manning for yeah. the first time? I don't know. I wasn't here when he came by. All right. Thank you. Uh, just the aura. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Was I'm Scott going to look into that. No, I like Scott. He's a good man. Was, right. Scott, was Scott invited be. to his wedding? <laughs> <laughs> he should be going to NASCAR events. He's he should a huge be. NASCAR fan. Yes, yes. We're going to look into that as soon as I... Yeah, right. <laughs>
All I saw was a while well, he had the black and white cookie in his right hand. He goes, hmm, which one of these should I have? I haven't had one in a while. Yeah. So I mean, which one? Which one with that every uh, once in a while? In three months, you'll be just as fat as no, you. No, no way. I can't do that. I'm just. No. I was ter- I I realized how good I feel right now, and I don't want to gain weight. So. I will control myself. I'm You'll still be work- fat in three months. Oh, yeah. I'm still working out. I have to say, one yeah. of the funniest sites is uh, Scott apparently has a deal where he gets to work out in the middle of the day, I guess right downstairs. Right. And he changes into his workout outfit up here. And he has the ugliest workout My outfit. My Superman outfit. The ugliest legs. <laughs> those <laughs> those ugliest, legs those are Those white legs. They're terrible. With the black hair and the <laughs> socks pulled all the way up. And it's just really bizarre. And the shorts are like, I don't know how to describe them to people. They're cloth. But they have like no, they have no body. Like they right, just kind of drape. Drip. No, like I, have, I have no body. Old man <laughs> it's old man shorts. It's weird. It's almost know, like underpants. If you go to Florida and you see the old geezers walking down with the walker and no, the shorts, those are the shorts that like, they wear. Why don't you go to like Super Runner and get running shorts? I get a singlet. No, get running shorts, dude. It's like, where did you get those shorts that you wear? I don't you know. Wear? I've had them for a while. so I What are those I, called? They're so bums. I mean, I, you know, I don't know what they're... they're bums? Workout shorts. You know, B-U-M, the, the B-U-M. workout... B-U-M. You sure it's not underwear you're wearing? Yes. Honest to God, it looks no, like like, like long underwear. Shorts. No, they're workout shorts. Yeah. Um, you look bad. I've had them for a while. All right. I should get new ones. Yeah. Well, I see this. the roast is starting early. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to control my, my weight. I will. I heard you ordered onion rings at lunch the other day. I for the table. I had one. <laughs> you had one onion ring. One. That's mm-hmm. it. For the table. No, but we you just... had to order them. Well, they, they were like everybody... for the table. So I assume we, you picked up I... the check. Yeah, sure. No, well, everybody was. Who who did you, who took you to lunch? Um, these these guys that we go out with uh, every. Uh, hey, they, they're like Doug Doug's uh, friends. Doug. <laughs> Doug from Doug, uh, Doug Goodstein. Yeah. What is it? it they're... Everybody on this show <laughs> seems to have some sort of group of friends who they can call on any time to take them out to lunch. No, not any time. Oh, is this the lawyer friend? The lawyers. Yeah, they, they, they got this friend that's a, a friend of dogs that's a lawyer that Scott deals with sometimes, but he's a fan of the show, and he takes them out to lunch every quarter. So, in other words, because they're on the show, they all pay for Scott's lunch. Yeah. Because Scott's on the show. Yeah, the lawyers want to hang out with someone. Right. You're a fucking nut. What? I was invited. You're I didn't, a glom. I was invited. I didn't. Do you ever go? I'll pick up the check. Actually, I've taken the lawyers out to lunch. Yes. You liar. But we can call them up. So what happened when you took the? So the lawyers took you to lunch and you ordered onion rings for the table. Well, if you, you I, were a big sport. I, I, everybody I have was an order, idea. No, what if we was, get something for the middle? Everybody was ordering for the table. There was like five appetizers. There was shrimp. There was <laughs> um, I don't know what else. There was uh, onion rings. Okay. And, You'll be fat in three uh, months. <laughs> Thank Come you. On. Goodbye. You want to bet? You can leave. It's I don't want to bet. I'll tell you what. I'll take it. What do you weigh right now? I probably gained some. Well, just tell me what you weigh today. Probably about 218, 218. I say you're at least 245 by Christmas. Yep. I'll take that bet right now. There's at no least way. 245 by Christmas. I got a hundred bucks. Problem is when you bet him. That's right. Then he has an incentive right. to right. stay right. fit. He'll just be fat. You'll see by Christmas. Right. No, gentleman's no. bet because there's no money in it. It's Fine. just your word. Yeah. I guarantee you'll be 240, 245 There ain't no fun Christmas. in a gentleman's bet. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if, you're, if you weigh 245 no, at Christmas, I mean, come you got to blow can... Sal. How's that? Dude, I would cut an arm off. I'm going to weigh 145 then. All right. Thank you. No problem. You will wait 245. I agree with Gary. Okay. It's another page 69 exclusive from Jason and Will. Apparently, Scott the Engineer will stop at nothing to promote his son's band. During a recent visit by the boy band Hanson, Scott cornered the band's manager in the green room and handed him a oh. CD of his son's music. Oh, dear. He had some difficulty being heard because the guys were warming up and rehearsing in the green room. So he ran in, interrupted, and said, here's my son's CD. Can't you stop that? Absolutely a lie. I never, ever, I swear on my son's life, I never did Fuck that. Fuck everyone. So what did you, so why are Jason and Will saying this about I have about no him? idea. I never handed any. My son doesn't have a CD out. I think the guy Jason, knew. Will, get in here. You've disparaged Scott. Uh, there have been a Hold lot on. of questioning of your reports lately. Man. No, 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 no. At least I got the story wrong. Whoa. What is the story? <laughs> you're, 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 that's not what we reported. You'll listen to page 69. Scott didn't give him a CD. Scott cornered the manager for about 20 minutes and was giving him a whole rap about his son. Oh, my, my son's in Europe. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, 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 he's touring. He's with the band. Wait, and I witnessed on. it with my own eyes. And so did Ronnie and about half the people in the hallway. Hold on. They're probably 
was a conversation that wasn't 20 minutes, and the, and the guy knew of my son because he's heard him on the show before and asked me. I never yeah. approached him. How old him. is your son now? Are you getting too old for this nonsense? He's 20, what, 21. Is he, is he prepared in case this thing doesn't work out? Yes. He is. It was, he's still in college. He is? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. it was so funny because it was in the green room, and Hanson's rehearsing and singing and he, Scott's shouting. Uh, excuse me, him. I know you have to rehearse, but there's something very important that has to be discussed. Play some music. Uh, <laughs> he asked son. me a question. I went in to ask them a question about what they needed to for the show, and he asked me... Could you pipe down with that um bop so I can talk? <laughs> it, it's just so funny. It's like clockwork. Anytime you have a musician up here, Scott's right in their face. That's with bull, it. I, I haven't done that. Well, that makes Scott... Oh, Perry Scott. Farrell? <laughs> yeah, I, I handed Perry Farrell a yeah. CD, too. Perry, yeah. He asked, uh, uh, what's his name for a guitar? Uh, can you leave, <laughs> Scott, can you leave my guest alone? I don't do that. I <laughs> haven't do. done that. You I did it with Hanson. No, I haven't done that. All right, okay. When somebody asks me a question, I, I give an answer. I mean, that's it. Say, right. yes, my son's in the... Yeah. Yeah, but wouldn't you, you like to ask about my musician's son? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scotty Jr. Well, want to be rock star? What can I tell you? All right, thank you. All right. Who isn't? See, Lisa, get your facts straight. I, Come on. First of all, Jason read the copy that I handed him to make sure it was correct. Uh, uh -oh. I, just, I just skimmed it to see what story well, you were doing. I didn't read the whole thing. Issue. But uh, listen to the page six nine. We never said to give him a CD. <laughs> Well, uh, Why bother to go through the process? Maybe Mike Walker knows something about this. Wait, let's see if I can find him. Hmm. Mike is ready on ISDN line, but I'm pulling up the ISDN. I Scott, did you switch this over, dude? You are all so good. He didn't do his job. Who? Again. Scott the engineer. Uh. He was too busy probably telling someone about his son's band. Uh, Fuck Scott. everyone. Well, thank goodness he's not his son's engineer. Did you switch him over? Fuck everyone. What? What? Will is supposed to remind me, and I'm supposed to remind Will. So we didn't get it done. So we're getting it done now. You, Will's supposed to remind you? How can you remind Will if Will is supposed to remind you? What kind of system is that? We're supposed to talk that? to each other. If... What? We're supposed to talk. What is this, Will? No, what, it's 9.30 you... in the morning. What do you think is happening right now? All right. It's... Don't blame me for your bullshit. I... What the fuck is your problem? I, every week, every week, you know, every week, you know, no. What do you mean every time I don't put it up? How many times have you not called them and woken them up and I've, I've done? I do it every week. Bullshit, Will. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Well, blame me. I'm not Scott, bla I didn't blame you. Scott, you blame you blame everyone for not doing your job. All you got to do. No, we is usually back each other up on the on the. On I the look deal. like an idiot. I go to Mike Walker, and again, I'm it's sorry. Not here. And probably Mike saying hello, hello, we, we hello. We usually check with each other to make sure that. What is the process? Tell me, tell me everything that goes on, so I'll remind. I'll come out and remind no, you because I don't want to look like a fool on the air. It's not a big, like a it's not a big air. process. No, no. You know what? You're right. It's my fault. No, it's, I didn't say it was your no, fault. No, I'm saying it's my fault because it's my show, and I should come out and remind you that no. Mike Walker is next. You, tell me what I need to do, what do you and what mean? you need to do. You don't need to do anything. No, 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 no. The, the buck stops here. No, it will be. <laughs> No. I'm general itself. Well, the bug stops here because I didn't get it done properly. No, 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 but no. It was Will's fault. I didn't say it was Will's fault. I said usually we confer with each other. To mm -hmm. I go to see if he's dialed up and Just Mike Walker. tell Walker's me what I need to do. Should I tell you on fr on Thursday that Mike Walker is no, coming up? No. I'm going to do it. I'm Should we paste it. up a 930 Mike Walker sign in your room on Thursdays? No. He's There's right. an idea. Nobody has to do Maybe that. Robin's right. Because that way, if you start off early in the morning, knowing at 9.30 Mike Walker's going to come in, you and Will can't get your system messed I'll tell up. you what, Robin hasn't even had her coffee enema yet, yet Clarity is, <laughs> is obviously over there. She's come up with a system. She should be there now. Should we hire someone to remind you? No. no, no, Mike is there. He's ready. He's ready to go. You're not ready. You tell me when you're ready. He's not there. No, he's there. No, he's not there. It says Mike Walker is ready. How do you know he's not there? Because I can tell that this is this is where it should be, and it's not there. So no, there's music there. That's a right exactly. experience to I, work I for do, you. I just call back into my. I have to call back into our engineering uh, offices and make sure they take care of it. So I I didn't make the call today for them to connect to Mike. So I'm saying. Well, how can you tell he's Thursday. not in his house waiting to go? Well, he's waiting. He's I, by a microphone waiting. I understand he's waiting. So how can you say he's not ready? He's not ready on your console yet. 
Why is Mike he... is ready. Mike, the si- all I'm telling you ready. is Mike Walker is sitting by a microphone right now. Why? W- w- what now? What is the problem? He's got to call engineering. I already did. But they're taking their time about doing. So it. why do you say Mike's not ready? Hello. There he is. Because it. Hello. No, no, that's, that's not him. That's Fred. That's Fred. I, I can see on the Hello. console that he's not there. Hello? Well, he's not there because they haven't switched over. To Are you him. looking at a video of his home? No, I'm looking at. <laughs> no, you don't he's know there. What Mike Walker well, is he's doing. ready, but he's not connected. That's right. why isn't he connected? I called as soon as. <laughs> It Do you take... have to hit a button on here? Could I don't you... have to hit any buttons. I have to it's call the, the engineering, engineering department. Did you call? Yes. I but called late. Oh, you right. called late. I called late. Oh. Okay, I'll sit here and wait. I'm sorry. It was I, my fault I, I called late. Now, oh. we still haven't have figured done by out now. how to make sure this doesn't happen. That's right, Robin. So should we post a sign in your room? You know what? We don't need him because Fred has him on tape. <laughs> Can I tell you my well, favorite Does he have any stories? Paper? Yes. Do you have a story? Can I tell you my favorite Matt Dillon story real briefly? <laughs> uh, let's Hello? go. Thank you. Why? Hello? Don't... Yes. You're... Hello? Hello. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to a call then, and uh, hopefully later we'll speak to him. Maybe I can be here yeah. all day. Nice version, right? I, I love that version of it. Yeah. Uh, I am Darth Nihilus. <laughs> yes, you are. In this world of Clay Aiken that we're going through right now, in American Idol, it's fun to listen to that. Right. Yeah, Joey would have never made it on American. Not even close. <laughs> Oh, Simon would be. You're absolutely horrible. And they were a true original, the Ramones. Yeah. Huh? What is going on there? Hey, guys, you got, guys, something's really off with my computer. Do you hear what he's doing? That's wow. going on by itself? Yeah, it's all happening on its own. And Gary, never before. Ah, that's funny. Wow. I told Scott what was happening. Hi, my name is Why? My name is Why? Fighting wow. back. Darth Nihilus. Maybe this is the day. Darth Nihilus. <laughs> Whoa. And it's attacking um, us. Rise of the machines. Yes. It, I, you want to hear something weird about this machine? I have a computer in front of me with different pages, as you guys know. It keeps printing out 666. Oh, no. I swear to God. you got to come see this. Look at this, Artie. Look at this. Look at this. It keeps printing out 666. You see it? I mean, your computer's yeah. keyboard's yeah. jammed somehow or something. And nothing's laying on it? Nothing did No. And the mouse is messed up or the keyboard, keyboard's kind of jammed in somewhere? Somebody spilled something? Well, I don't know. It's not, I don't know. No one's near it. And it keeps print. You see that 666 mm-hmm. across the top? And then every time I try to switch pages... You get a keyboard under there? I have no keyboard. Where the fuck do I have a keyboard, Scotty? Oh, you st- oh okay. They took the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me take it behind. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something funny while Scott's working on What is it? It was on the six on the key. There was something. Uh, oh wow! There's a keyboard hey, and something was lying on it. Wow! I knew I'd get to the bottom. I, I'm a I'm a bald detective. No, you're the devil. I'm Sherlock Baldy. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix this now. What would you do if you did have a six 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 carved in your head and you realized? It wasn't. It you wasn't the, the thing. It wasn't the thing anymore to do. <laughs> like you did it when you were a teenager. Yeah. I'd go. Wow. I, I wish Iron Maiden was still famous. <laughs> I can make a lot of money as their mascot. Let me check and see if everything's working now. Okay. Uh, I am Darth Nihilus. Hey Scott, just a thought. Maybe that's not the best place for a keyboard where everyone can just drop shit on it. Like I don't even know. I don't even use that one. Like we could get that out of the studio. You know, I don't know. What is that keyboard? That's the keyboard for mm. that computer. Yeah, no one uses it. And then like people just drop shit on it and then fuck my whole system up. <laughs> right? Do I need that keyboard in here? I never use it. Um, what do I need that for? What? 
We have to keep it in here just in case there's a problem. Well, put it, it up. created a problem. Put it up on a high shelf. We'll move it. We'll move it over there. Yeah, I mean, people are dropping shit on it. We'll I don't use any a, of these keyboards. We'll put it in a well, lock box. No. We'll leave, 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 all right, leave that one there. Right, and then leave that one there, but not that one. Now you don't know what you do. Scott's so funny. <laughs> Scott, he was out there complaining because you know Artie got this deal where oh, really? they're going to convert a room for him. For He's a, complaining. He goes. How come no one contacts me? Because <laughs> you're not Artie. I mean, dude, you're not you're not like a major player on the show. Who's I didn't gonna, say. <laughs> who's gonna contact you? I wasn't complaining. Yeah, you, you were you were complaining. God, I walked right by your studio. You weren't even didn't even know I was out there. You go, God, how come nobody calls me? Yes or no? That's I said that. That's right. And here comes here comes my friend to help me. No, I did say that. I was just kind of joking. That, that's he my, always my, says he's my, joking. Uh, yeah, he's now a comedian. He didn't complain to me. I didn't hear it. But Scott, no. nobody knows who you are. I mean, a major company isn't going to put I? you on TV and uh, do a cribs with you. Of course not. I didn't. I mean, I mean, Artie's in a different position. Yeah, can Artie's, you imagine this, the Artie's show? Artie's right here. Do you think he's a big be, star? Okay, all right. Go ahead. Goodbye. No, no, no. Scott Salem <laughs> on DIY tonight. Yeah. Watch a, a, a remake of Scott Salem's new home. <laughs> Sirius won't even let you attend a client party. That's why would, good. Why would somebody put you on TV? <laughs> Sirius had a client party and wanted a bunch of us to show up, and they told Scott not to. I mean, they went out of their way to make sure he wasn't in there. But then he went. Yeah, he, he, he boxed in anyway. Yeah. So What's just come to, the, come to the episode I shoot, and I can get some yeah. shit. Okay. <laughs> you can come on I'll again. barge in your house. Come hey, on in. Audie, can you lend me that hat? I'd like to cover my bald head. Why are you using that equipment? <laughs> Sometimes I think Scott particularly resents Artie. Because I have no, no. Why would I resent no, Artie? Every oh, time no. Artie, you know, would complain about something on the wrap-up show, he comes out with the most vicious wang. <laughs> you yeah, know, he's, he's got, really attacked. He's got Artie. some inner anger. Yeah. Right? All right, thank you, Scott. You're uh, welcome. Just thought I'd bring you into that behind-the-scenes glimpse of Scott the Engineer. No problem. And finally, Scott the Engineer appeared on the Miserable Men show Sunday night where he attempted to project his black cloud onto Howard's relationship with Beth. Responding to the comment that Howard and Beth never fight, Scott predicted that once the wedding takes place, the couple will be fighting like cats and dogs. <laughs> Fuck everyone. He also talked about his life as a former swinger in the 70s. Wow. Oh, really? Wow. Fuck I can't everyone. imagine that, but that's Imagine the lucky girls who got to swing <laughs> with Scott. Oh, you know, girls, I'm a swinger. I swing. Hello, did... couple. <laughs> Scott, when did you swing in the seventies? You liar. You know I love Scott, and and I really think in the last like year he he looks so incredibly depressed. Yeah, he's gotten sadder. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, like it's really like the cloud is growing. <laughs> Scott, when did you swing in the seventies? And by the way, it's an hour and fifteen minutes. I gotta take a break. I gotta hear the swinging. Yeah, but when now. did you swing in the seventies? Um. In the early seventies, when I, you know, yeah, and now when I, when I was you in, know what? in my how, how in my twenties. What do you mean you swung with who? Where? How did this happen? We, um, who's we? The person I was with. You're, well, you're, okay, you, you had a, a partner, a partner. partner. That's okay, right, that's yeah. correct. We we were friends with another couple that we used to hang out with all the time. Yeah, and, and you're telling me that the, the other couple had to have you. We we swapped. You swap wives. Yeah. Oh, wives? Girls. 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 Not wives. Not wives. Ew. Yeah, girls. Oh. Yeah. Who and would swap with you? <laughs> it, it was, I, I actually, I as, would as, swap. I'd probably say, you know what? Mm. Maybe my girl will appreciate me after she fucks this guy. Right, as weird yeah. as it may seem, it happened. I had hair back then, so I wasn't, I wasn't as gross as I am now. Oh. So. I didn't say that. <laughs> and that didn't, I guess that ruined the relationship? Or did it not? No. Eventually, um, I ruined it on my own. We, <laughs> eventually, we broke up, but um, it didn't ruin the, the relationship then. No, it was fine. Everything was cool. And you could we, look at this other couple. Did you continue to see them? Yeah, we hung, we hung out with them. We would travel. We'd go away with them. We'd share a hotel room and with them. And how often would you? Oh, how creepy! I wasn't. I wasn't a lot. It was a few guy? times. It was like you and the guy, good pals. Like, hey man, your your girl's great. <laughs> High five each no, other. No, I mean pass. one one night we were hanging out and um, we did some weed. I I, 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 I did weed. 
I did. I mean, <laughs> uh, and after you blew your load, like after he blew his load in your girl, how soon after did you hop on your girl and, and you know, because you're all turned on? I don't on. think he blew his load in her, but. Um, what do you mean? Where did he blow it? On her? Probably. Yes. All over her face. And then, like, would you get turned on watching him? No, we didn't. I don't watch. I but didn't did watch you, him. Did it turn you on when she would tell you what happened? Uh, we, we never spoke about it a lot. It was just you didn't like, talk about you it? You mean afterwards you never No, it was like, you know, oh, we just said it was a lot of fun. I mean, we, we would, so, and so then, that night we... Would you, would you bang her in the same night? Like, she'd bang him? No, 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 him? no. Why not? No. We, we just didn't. I mean, we don't. We'd just go home and... Um, and not be with what? each other. Well, we... And not talk about what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a turn on. So, in other words... We, we all did it in the same room. Yeah, but the lights were out? Yeah, the lights were out. And you so could... you couldn't see him doing your wife? I'm I mean, pretty... your girlfriend. No, I mean... I mean, mean your he... girlfriend said, I, listen, it's bad enough i got to see him. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm banging you. Listen, wife. listen. It was, it was all... I mean, it was... I didn't initiate it. I, I actually crashed, and then I, I was awakened and dragged into the shower with three, three other people. I like how you're using Ooh. your 70s vernacular. I crashed. I did. And then... All right, so, so they... You were asleep, Did and we... they had a lot of fun, and then they drove. No, they didn't have the any shower? fun. They weren't doing anything. They were, you know, they they woke me up, and they said, "Come with us," and we all went into the shower. You and showered they... with a dude. They did. Wow. That's wow. nice. That wasn't cuck your revelation. You, you watch got a big the, cuck. Watch the soap. <laughs> Free love. If that cock would have ended in my hand by accident, there's nothing I could possibly do to stop it. No. So <laughs> that, in the shower, that didn't happen. In the shower, she was being washed down by the other dude, your that, girl. That's correct. And you were washing down his girl. That's correct. Did he ever wash you? No. <laughs> <laughs> a little low. Oh. To the left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Could you hit my bowl? There you go. Let me bend over for you. Hold on a second. <laughs> Massage my prostate. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, it ha things happen from there. That must be the grossest fucking orgy oh. ever. So you kissed uh, this other woman? I did. In front of your girl? Mm -hmm. I did. That was, yeah. And then you didn't like to have to turn on and start going, you know, oh man, he gave it to me. And then I was, you know, thinking, you know, this, and then he, then he grabbed my vagina. And, okay. You know, I mean, <laughs> she didn't give you any details? No. We no. never really went into details about and it. She it was didn't just, want to know about you it was and just the like, other girl? Did you don't, have a good excuse time? Excuse me, darling. Don't you want to know about me? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't no. Know what you like, do. think about it. That was the ugly side of the Woodstock, like, sexual revolution. It wasn't all, like, the stones that Nell Colt and Right, right. It right. wasn't all Marianne Faith. <laughs> It was Scott Mick the engineer and, and some equally hideous man. <laughs> I was Mick Jagger. It wasn't Tony Franciosa. <laughs> did she make a lot of noise with him? Like did she? Was make it all Michelle Phillips? <laughs> she made noise, and the girl I was with made noise. I mean, yeah. you know, you got her off. I did. What was the noise? Help! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob. Muffled screams. <laughs> she would say, "Stop raping me." Go back, Robin. Go back to your vegetables, will you? It wasn't Bob and Carol and Ted and Alex. I was having more fun with people than vegetables. <laughs> right, right. Way right. to go, dude. Sounds you know. fantastic. It was You're the man. It was. I'm not. I mean, it was fun. What can I tell you? That's. It happened, and it's, it was fun. All right. I enjoyed it. Every. All of us did. I mean, because uh, we did it a few, we didn't do it every day, or we did it a few times. We didn't do it all the time. And then What's you guys, it? uh... Was it like, like you go, hey, we're getting together with that couple, wink, wink. No, wink, we were always wink. hanging out with that couple. Yeah. We were friends. I mean, the, so so the two we... girls were best friends. Right. So... Did they ever get it on with each other, the two girls? No. No. They're close, but not... I don't no think they were into it. Hmm. But what? When would be the special night that you know? There was hey, no. Tonight. There was no special night. There was no was plans. It conflicted was, with my bowling night. <laughs> <laughs> we would just be hanging out, and it would happen. It was, it was nothing made up or nothing that we, you know, set out to do. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a swinger. <laughs> no, I'm not a swinger, that's for sure. I'm not anymore, but if there was a point in my life... Well, I was at Pluto's retreat. <laughs> no, I wanted to go Pluto's to, retreat. I wanted to go to Plato's retreat, but they rejected me. So they sent me with the dogs. <laughs> Guess who scored two tickets to the Ramones? <laughs> CBGB. One of you has got to blow me, though, for that. Not you, sir. I don't know. I, it was a lot of fun. I, I You know... I, I know it's not for everybody. It was different, and it was, uh... The girls you know. back then used to call me Bald Pit. <laughs> <laughs> now they just call me Stu. <laughs> well, congratulations. I had no idea you were a swinger. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing. Oh, anytime. Way to go, bro. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Now go beat off in your little room over there. <laughs> That's all I had to do now, just memories. Thank you. Uh, Lisa G, is that what's happening? We'll see you all, all right, day. thank you from the Howard 100 News team, and we'll be back right after these words.
What do you think is more unreal, Nancy doing dial a date or Scott the engineer being a swinger in the seventies? <laughs> Number two. That's why I'm glad I missed the swinging period. I'm a swinger. You know, you know what, you know what's great that about that? Fun. You know, when you think of swing, swingers, in our mind we like to think of like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie right. with yeah. maybe uh, you know uh, uh, another hot couple or something. But the reality is, because when I used to watch Phil Donahue and Oprah, oh. and they'd have swingers on, the reality is, it's Scott the Engineer. Yeah, they were like heinous people. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I know I'm heinous, but it's time to swing. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the reality of swinging. Well, this weekend, you had shows that were on. I couldn't go away from the radio. There were things from the past, like when Scott was going to have anal sex with <laughs> Oh, God. That was Lane. one of the greatest shows. Memory Lane was particularly great. I loved uh, the the Wood G uh, Indecent Proposal movie. Do you remember that one, Fred? Yes, I do. Yeah. One of his best. One of the best. I'm upset that I didn't hear what Dominic just said because I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> that oh, my was a God. a great show. And Alan, says to him, Alan wants to know, Scott, did you discuss it with his son? <laughs> <laughs> he says, yes, we had a long talk about it. Oh. He understood. <laughs> How did you understand that? I, you know, I think of my own dad. Imagine he came home from work one day and said, "Look, I have an opportunity to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I'm going to have anal sex with a man." That's one time where, <laughs> like, I would just jump out a window and hang myself. After we decided that you it was both. just going to be Scott's head poking out of two curtains <laughs> and him just getting fucked and and just thinking of Scott's head just thrusting forward and that's all you saw. Me and me and Stutter and John shared a cab to to a certain place we both had to go, and it's the only time I shared a ten minute cab ride with someone I knew where we didn't yeah. speak because we were laughing about it. We never we couldn't get the vision like it had leaked from the show but, to lunch to a cab like we couldn't stop laughing. Like I have such respect for my dad. Like I don't think my dad would have discussed it with me, but I imagine it would have been like you know how. I need to tell you something I'm going to do because you might hear about it at school. Yeah. I'm going on a radio show and having anal <laughs> sex with a porn star. Oh, my God. But well, then, so you can go you, to college. Uh, how do you approach your son? <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, son, I need to sit down with you and have a conversation right now. I hope you can handle it in a mature fashion. Come here. Now, here's what Daddy's going to be doing. Now, remind, remind yourself when I tell you this that they'll only be seeing my face. Remind I, I we have a black cloud I have to somehow get rid of. You know, you, you want nice things and your mother wants nice things, and I have an opportunity to come into a windfall. This chain of poverty's got to be broken. You've been chosen. <laughs> we can add 300 square of, feet to the house. The, the chain of poverty must be broken in our family. <laughs> you think about lifting taxes, the reality is like you could have built a nice deck. This is a, this is a chance for a new start for our family and a new deck. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy wants some copper gutters. <laughs> well, Daddy, what are you going to do? Well, let me explain to you. Look at me, son. As you can see, this is my only chance. There isn't a whole lot of opportunity for someone who behaves like me and looks like me. <laughs> we'll see who's the embarrassing loser when you're cooking on a brand new Viking grill. <laughs> I was also a swing in the, in the 70s. <laughs> uh, Well, look, son. What I have to do is... They're bringing in a black porn star with an enormous penis. You put it in my ass for no less than ten minutes while I'm on pay-per-view. But, of course, only my face will be seen as I take it in the ass. So you'll never witness. Also, this will take place in Giants Stadium. Many of the friends from school will be in the audience. And the Goodyear blimp will fly by. How did Scott even think about it? <laughs> he went home and talked about he had a discussion it. Discussion. <laughs> That's right. I discussed it with my family. Not everybody can be they a Trump. They all agree is what he came back and they said. They all agree. I should take it in the end. What a family. Yeah, no, his wife said, yeah. All right, I'm going to take an anonymous vote. I'm going to put out this hat, and I want you to write down the... Supposed to be three votes, one of them mine. <laughs> okay, each one you can. Dog, too. Yes, meaning daddy should take it in the ass, and no means no. <laughs> now, of course, you and your mother will get free tickets to this event. <laughs> and, and we'll have ten uh, additional. Son, maybe you want to bring your prom date? <laughs> hey, Scott. 
<laughs> oh, his poor kid. His kid's a nice kid, Would your kid, band though. like to play while I get fucked on the ass? <laughs> oh. Daddy, Daddy, can I have a new bike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're thinking small. I'm going to get a Honda Pilot. Yeah. That's after, a car. Do you realize for $250,000 after taxes, I'll clear a whole hundred thousand? <laughs> You're talking oh, life changing. We could we could get a built in pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he, he comes to the, the next day, he's very serious about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is he? Okay. You know what? I, I'm jealous of Dominic for having heard that. The, <laughs> the next day. Yeah, he really was still, like, he actually had that discussion. That's, you know, that's it wasn't until after the weekend. Yeah, he had Dave, a full weekend. That's right, the full weekend before he came back and said, we really thought it through. What would you give for a tape of that weekend discussion? <laughs> what would you give? Anything. <laughs> 250 grand. <laughs> I he could have got, all he had to do was tape the discussion. He could have got the money. <laughs> Scott, is it true you really <laughs> sat your family down for a family discussion when it came to taking it in the ass? <laughs> you know what? I don't even. It would have been the ultimate jackass move. Man. Exactly what happened. I was how did you like... explain it to your son? <laughs> I mean, really, what do you say to your son? Like, how do you approach oh, that? Good news and bad news. No, really, what do you say in a serious way? I really do want to know. It must have been terribly uncomfortable. <laughs> was just... Go ahead. Was just... We'll be quiet. <laughs> We think about doing this embarrassing, uh, you know, we need the money, but I was thinking about doing this embarrassing. What, let me hear this explanation. We always need the money. Right. Yeah. Uh, said, I'm thinking about doing this embarrassing. I don't think he was in the room. I don't think it was just me and my wife. You know. So you lied. said everybody had done Well, you definitely said you went and had a discussion with your son about it, because that's very clear on the tape. Shit, those tapes, they come back and haunt you. Someone <laughs> had a discussion <laughs> with your kid. The How do you bring it up? Scott has to fix these tapes so they're ready for broadcast. <laughs> yeah. Make what sure do that you say to your clear. son? I mean, how did he give you the blessing? I don't it... know. I, you know what? I, just, uh, I think I just put it out of my head after that. I don't remember. No. I really don't remember. No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, now, trying to I'm trying to think what went down exactly. And I I just, at some you know, point, it was... Well, it was brought up to, I was brought up to. Well, you. they knew about it because my wife heard the show, obviously. Right. So she and told your son. She might. Yeah, I, you know. That's good. Th <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Jr., yeah. any questions? Yeah. Uh, when, when Daddy comes. Voted yes twice. <laughs> <laughs> when Daddy comes home, I just want you to yeah. vote yes. I, just say yes. I found a way to send you to college. <laughs> you know? Your father's now providing. But how did it all play up? Like, so Casey was talking about it, and then. All right, here, here's the And deal. then Scott, yeah. actually, you just yelled out, look, no. I would get fucked in the ass. Now, and then I remember, it was like Casey was calling these whack packers with ideas. Right. Would you do this for this money? Right. So would you do, <laughs> would you do anal for a hundred thousand? Right. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'd do that. And Casey goes, yeah. You know, Casey. Right. But yeah, could I tell Howard? I go, yeah, go ahead. What the fuck? Yeah. So that's that's how it oh. happened. So we we. we well, let me get to a category because that's what it's really all about. Yeah, everybody wants to know who the next winner's going to be. Most bizarre moment of the friggin' year. First of all, our first nominee, underdog lady, returns to the show on the phone but refuses to talk. If you get me two hundred fifty thousand dollars, I'd do it right. Hmm. What was that? I don't know. It's not queued up right. <laughs> Hold on, folks. A technical problem. You know how these things go when you're doing things live. Any second now. No, it's not going to happen. Oh, no, it's not? Yeah, we're, we're, oh, we're no. stuck. All right, let's see if I can make it happen. Underdog lady returns to the show on the phone but won't talk. Your dog, can you tap once if you were there? All right, she is there. Okay. She, oh, she's doing her appearances, and people are still, like, screaming at her. She's doing a comedy act, and people don't realize that. Oh, what? Well, oh, wait a second. Underdog, one tap for yes if it's a comedy act, two taps for no. It's, See, not. it's not. People are saying to her that oh. it's a comedy act. That's what it was. Well, Suzanne, could you help me here? Because I'm getting this all screwed up, Suzanne. They don't think that shit that people harass me about the Stern, and they are still doing it. Oh, what, what do they say about Stern? Ever since. I was on Howard Stern's TV program and was victimized him. The public has never stopped bothering me about him by mentioning his name. But why is that bad? Now, they've been doing that for 10 years. I'm sick and tired of it. Mentioning Howard Stern's name is a constant thorn in my side because you victimized me 10 years ago. You can't blame me for being... Hello? Oh, oh, hello? Is she still there? 
I think oh. that wasn't a tap. That was a hang-up. Our second nominee is Scott the Engineer. When he says he'll take anal for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you get me two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I do it right here on the floor. Really? Oh. That's right. Oh. Right. And you can turn this you know guy what? down. For two hundred fifty thousand, you'd go two minutes. That's right. You You'll will have anal sex minutes. with a man here in this studio. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I will get it. I want to see that. that. Make you gay? Howard, he's got to yeah. do it in the ring like a boxing match. <laughs> You're gay. I can get in shape first. No, do you believe him? I, I don't. Think? I'm shocked. i got to practice. I mean, I know Scott really well. And Scott does not have a gay bone in his body. You know, we've discussed that. Oh, no. Soon he will. <laughs> Mind-blowing. Our third nominee is Artie Lang. Artie freaks out during his Queer Eye makeover in most bizarre moment of the friggin' years. Speaking of gay guys, let's f***. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Woo! Which one of you gay guys wants to f***? <laughs> Which one doesn't? I got enough liquor in me to f*** a gay guy. <laughs> None of these gay guys have the balls to f*** me. How about Queer Eye f***? A straight guy. Yeah, they don't have the balls for that, Bravo, do they? I'm an ugly straight guy, but they won't f me. They'll f some, me too, sir. They'll t no, they'll f no. some Ben Affleck looking f okay. Who wants to f a real guy? You guys have fun. Right, right here. Oh. Look at numbers. Who's next? Who's next? I'll make a list. I'll put this. I'll put this on and f any fag in here right now. Hey, you need some more Jack or something over there? Get me some more Jack and I'll f any fruit in this place. I'll put this on. You can pretend I married you. You. F oh, we'll have a little Little House in the Prairie wedding and be yeah. fantastic. This is for me. Cut out a hole for my ass and f me. Wow. Oh, how Hasidic. Okay. Well, uh, that's Artie. Our three wow. nominees, Underdog Lady, Scott the Engineer, and Artie freaking out during his Queer Eye makeover. Let's see who wins. What do they say on the panel this year? All right, the FME goes to, and I have to agree, as bizarre as Underdog Lady is and Artie, it's got to be Scott. Yeah, I mean, right? For $250,000, he's going to have anal sex for that two minutes. That was amazing. It's Scott the Engineer accepting the FME for most bizarre moment. Scott the Engineer. Hi, Scott. Hey, this is an honor. First of all, I'd like to thank God. You thank God you didn't do it. I saved you. Yes, exactly. Thank God somebody came to their senses. Well, you were all set to do the two hundred fifty thousand dollar channel challenge. You were going to yeah. have anal sex from. Uh, we were going to try and get one of the biggest porn stars out there. I know. Lexington Steel. Lexington Steel, who is uh, thirteen inches, and he was going to deliver the anal to you. Yeah, well, I couldn't do it. But see, the conversation in the office, Howard, has been not that Scott didn't want to do it. But that people told him it wouldn't be a good idea. But Scott himself would he still would have gone he's still up for it. it. Oh, he, he would do now? it. I guess if I was single and didn't have any responsibilities right. and things. <laughs> well, like you that. have a wife and a son who right. were embarrassed right. by it. Yeah, but and they originally endorsed you doing yeah, it. Yeah, what happened? Uh, we originally got the go ahead. Well, the money was enticing, you know. So, right. But, which I still can use some money, but I have to find other ways to get it. Would you take anal to get your son a record deal <laughs> with a legitimate record company? No. No. no? No, no, no! I want him. No, I want him to get a deal on his talent, not just because I'm doing something stupid. Well, you know as well as I do that uh, sometimes it's who you know, not not uh, what you know. Yeah. Oh, well, obviously, but I think he's got the talent, and uh, you know, we'll we'll get there. All right. So, you, so the two hundred fifty thousand dollar anal situation was killed. We were going to do it on pay per view. Right. Uh, it was well, killed. that wasn't the original deal. That's that's also another thing that. Well, you that, seem to agree to that, it. No, no. Because that's no, that, the only way I could raise the two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, had to get the money. You were all no, that was the thing that blew out of proportion. You know, it was, <laughs> it was it was here in a room, and then all of a sudden it's on pay per view. Well, how do you different. expect me to make the money? Yeah. Oh, the pay per view turned him off. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it didn't. <laughs> he was down with it the yeah. whole way. <laughs> there's, there's been all sorts of speculation. Like, do you like you couldn't do this, right? And would you agree to do something you've never done before? Like, in other words... Like, you don't even know if you could handle it. Right. So, why or, would you agree to it? I like that Scott would want a more intimate environment yes. for his anal. Like, something more private yeah, and cozy. Yeah, I don't want to do it in front of yeah. the world. It just yeah. does. Had to be romantic. 
Our negotiation broke down over the merchandising. Scott wanted all the anal fun merchandising we were going to sell. What, do you want to do me? What is it, Casey? i got to ask Scott, for 100000 wow. would you do oral? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. no? What? And now you say that because your wife won't let you. No. What if I upped your two hundred fifty thousand no. no, dollars to happening. half a million yeah, dollars? It's not happening. Half a million dollars. It's not happening. For you to take anal on pay per view. No, it's not happening. Are you God. sure? It's I'm not, making this offer it's, now. No, it's not happening. College half a for. million dollars. <laughs> it's not happening. Half a million, five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> not happening. You know you want it. <laughs> <laughs> I want the money, yeah. I don't want the uh, anal. How about 10000 to use your hand on Benji? No. <laughs> yeah, Lily can act all disgusting because right. he can't now, do it. He was here all right. ready to lay down. Finish your speech, uh, Mr. Macho. Oh, yeah. I, I was, you know. Is that it? You're done? That's my speech. Okay, okay. Good. All right. Congratulations, Scott the Engineer. In true thank boring you. fashion, you gave the worst speech. I'd like to thank the Academy. All right. There you go. Scott the Engineer, who agreed to take anal for $250,000 and then backed out, so to speak, after his wife and son decided it might be embarrassing. Wow. Man. How yeah, great is that? He's changing history a little bit, but he was, he was down for the cause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I was so hoping that you would... Uh, I loved it. I didn't like it. it. I loved it. And you did. I mean, when you called me on Saturday, you you know, everything that... I, I love did, you. All right? I said special it. special attention to to make sure it happened. You said you... You mentioned I without prompting you, you said you loved it. Yeah, it, it was the best night. I said, this, this is why it's important to have a 50th birthday party. I will remember this and cherish this for the rest of my life. Scott Salem real upset. He wasn't invited. He's running around oh. angry. He might want to tell you off. I guess that's what, you know what, I came to the car. I was like, good morning. I didn't get her. <laughs> well, in your defense, and I'm going to come to your defense, I mean it. There's only so many people you can invite. What are you going to do? It, it wouldn't have been a five-course meal no. with, you know, special wines and all of that. I couldn't do that with a lot of different people. I don't know why like Benji had to be there. Scott, you've been with me over 20 years. Go ahead and yeah. say your piece. I mean, that's exactly what, what no. I was thinking. It was like, uh, I don't know, the list came out of the air. I mean, some people uh, have been here two, two years, and they got invited. And I'm here, you know, a long, Happy long birthday. time working my ass off with you guys and trying to make a good show. And Is he serious? No, yes. I don't get invited. Oh, yeah. I was just curious to wh why that list, the way it came out. Oh, my God. Well, you're you're going to throw a party. Can, I, can I defend her for one minute? She's gonna throw Robin knows I really don't like you. Her. I mean, you know, to be honest. <laughs> you're not a fun guy. That's no, the no, reason. No. That's the reason. You know what? I understand why. If she's going to throw a party and invite people that you work So what are you with? referring to, Benji? Yeah, you should have been invited before Benji's. What I'm saying. not saying anybody. I'm just. I would have been on time. I'm just saying. I. I, I Scott, who's that... been here for only two years that got invited? <laughs> you. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I don't know. I hate you, too. There's other people so that are upset. I should have invited Art. That have been with you a long time that weren't invited either. Well, Scott, like when you... Who? I'm not going to say, let them come in and talk to you. <laughs> I got my own problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, but Scott, I, I mean, I was really... It, you know, I, I'm used to not getting invited, and I'm back there, and everybody forgets about me, but... This was absolutely the worst thing that's ever been done to me. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Totally serious. It was either this oh or being raped by Alexa Pinsky. She's dead to me now. Really? Yeah. I, wow. I, I, mean, the, I mean, I'm. it was nice that she threw your party, but if she's going to invite people that you work with for a long time. Two years. It's, See, there are a lot of wrong. hurt feelings. There are a lot of hurt feelings. The love is there is. Oh I'm not the only one. I'm not going to say who else, but who else? I don't throw people under the bus like John. <laughs> um, Oh, I'm Who else is upset? See, you I'm not saying. Something nice. Let them if they have something to say. Let them come in and no, speak for themselves. <laughs> but can I say something, Scott? You missed definitely. the most incredible yeah, night. Exactly. <laughs> really? I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't miss me. I can show you the picture, Scott. <laughs> I just couldn't understand how the list was picked out of the air. You feel it was too random. It was very random. Yeah. No. Who you do know, you think? If she's going to throw, if she's going to throw a party with people that you work with, plan. 
to have all of the people that you work with, not just here and, you know, pick some well, people. But you want to have a small dinner party. Why well, don't no you throw a party? Yeah. Since you know how it should be done. Wow. Why don't you throw a party? I don't have the resources like you. Doesn't? Okay. That, what are you ca talking about? You didn't have to throw the party. My party, party would have been at Chuck E. Cheese's or something. You could have thrown a party and show me. you could have shown me how it's done. In other words, I didn't know how you, you were doing it until I wasn't you invited. You didn't even have the idea. I, it's but Scott, you great know idea. It's, it's very nice 50. that you did that for Howard. Excuse but. me? You know how it was turning 50. Yeah. You could have thrown a party. I'll tell you, I wouldn't go I, to Scott's party. I, I, <laughs> I, I just want him to know. I don't give a crap he was turning 50. That, that was oh, his point. Oh. Did he give a crap when I turned 50? No. no. It doesn't matter. Nobody so cares what about they, Right. So what the hell? <laughs> I, so what are you if saying? You don't I'm care just saying about you Howard, why do you care if you were there? Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's not the point. That oh, that's not. I care point. about his 50th birthday. <laughs> the point is, you just seem to pick willy nilly the list. Willy nilly. <laughs> willy nilly. You know, I really think. Willy but even if she had put some willy thought into. Willy But even if she had put some thought into the list, I don't right. think you would have been on the list. I really think. <laughs> I said even if you would put thought into the list, I don't think he would have made the list. <laughs> I, I just think it was wrong. Right. I think. But uh, can I say something? You know think what? of it this way. That's wrong. It's what if Robin? Party. What if Robin took me to dinner, right, at a restaurant? Right. And she said, "Look, I, I can. I'm, I'm comfortable with ten you, people." She invited people that you work with here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So everybody that I work with around here uh, was invited. <laughs> <laughs> For example, would that like, make you? <laughs> would that make you feel like crap? Oh my God. Yes, it did, and it absolutely made me feel like crap. <laughs> would you have work coach check if you were? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of that, speaking of that, and then last week, she comes to me to produce a bit for the party. <laughs> How's that one? And I'm sitting there going, you want me to do this for that party? How's, how's that? Who do you think you should have been? My dear, you know, the E people did a lot of things for the party, yes, too, they and did. they didn't get to come either. They did a lot. Well, you could have won. Yeah, they I'm did. sure that some of the people who are upset. I'm sure they're upset too. But who's I, upset? Tell me. You, John will I'm, tell I'm me. I'm taking guesses from what. Uh, tell the truth. If, you know. Uh, you know who's upset? Sean knows everything. <laughs> Is it uh, Ronnie? I'm not going to say. Just I don't want to. I don't want to. Just say it. Let them just come say. To it. If they're upset, let them open their mouth. And come in. Here. I, I guess maybe like like Scott and Doug got the pace. Is he up there? I, I don't know about. I him. heard Scott the pace is pissed. Yeah. Really? And, uh, <laughs> he told me he didn't care. Well, that's all I heard. I don't care. <laughs> what what a great it it I would have been it. very nice to have been invited, but I had plans anyway, and I was glad that I didn't have to go get a suit and do all that crap. So I would have been there for your party. I was playing Xbox. I was not. Uh, it's all. <laughs> So you're wrong. I didn't say you're wrong. Eat. All right, then you're wrong. <laughs> then, well, you know, Colin could have at least have brought a, brought a chick he was banging. Yeah. Hey, I was there. I was working. And who the hell is Colin Quinn? Quinn. Don't oh, he, was he was working. working. He was working. I was working, Scott. Scott. He was yeah. the entertainment. I was working. I was like, Funny. I was like Will and JD. Don't include me. Right. Yeah, Will and JD. I was like Sheila. But I, 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 I could bleep. I could. I could DJ. It was kind of odd. It was kind of odd. There was like with Benji was and weird. KC was, was and Scott, like with the three guys, like who work on the show that weren't invited. You know, it was just it's a tough decision. <laughs> yeah, of course it's prohibitive. You, you know cuts. what? I could have made the cut by by uh, length of time. I could have made the cut in a number of different ways. Instead, I made it the way I did. It was a perfect evening. Well, I'm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did Robin, what you had to feel. You had to feel. You had to do. Right, and here's what I, this is why you shouldn't be upset. Wrong. I mean, you, you, you're entitled to be upset, yeah. but, but uh, yeah. in all fairness, she made a party. Right. It's it's twenty seats, thirty seats, whatever. Yeah, but so was, what? It, so so in other words, obviously, she can't invite everyone. You know what, Scott? If you want to tell all these people they couldn't bring their spouses, then I could have well, had a lot more them. of the staff at the I, party. But, but you don't do that at a party. And, and quite frankly, you would never even know, know the why, party I don't happened. know why she limited it to Scott's anti-family values. I, I mean, she must have a reason why she limited it. Yeah. Oh, you're so thinking people. that it was personal? It had nothing? Well, it wasn't personal? I mean, if it was budgetary, then, you know, just yeah, cut back was, on the was, wine a little and get some people in there. Cut back on the wine. But it was you just know? you weren't Again. there. The wine was the reason for the party in the first place. Oh, yeah, it was this winery. You wouldn't have and said that. And that came in an whining. idea, but you can't have 500 people. <laughs> I, I wasn't, it's not 500 people. But, I, I think, like, like, Scott, you feel you shouldn't be invited over Benji, right? I mean, 
I don't, I don't feel like you to be invited honest. over anybody. No, I just Artie, think that there are Artie, people. That, so you think you should be there before Artie? I, I don't feel I should be there before anybody. But I have a I personal think that, uh, a friendship with Artie. I, I understand that, but no. I think that we we all work together. <laughs> Every day, and those people should have been invited. But, but, but I don't think but that it I wasn't a station no, event. You should I, throw a party, and then, then your feelings will be reflected. No, no, no. I don't. If he throws a party, I'll <laughs> kill myself. And by the way, I don't want anybody getting an idea to throw a party except Robin. If anybody throws me a party, I will kill them. <laughs> Welcome to Bolorama. <laughs> this is how people work. I knew if I threw a party and I didn't invite you, Robin, you wouldn't give a crap anyway. But <laughs> would I know? Listen, I don't see I Scott anyway. Know. Well, all of a sudden, what is he going to start inviting me to a dinner or something? I don't want that. But don't tell. I would go see him otherwise. Have an idea how they should execute that idea. That's what I'm saying. How dare he think that he has any right to feel upset? Or to think that he deserved an invitation. <laughs> Ooh, nice turnaround. Doesn't like you. I know. It's not I mean, that I don't like Scott. No, I know. It's just it like was every the wedding. Party just... I threw. Right, and I'm insulted that I wasn't invited. You can do whatever you like. Okay. I'm not going to be upset that you're upset. Of course you're not going to be upset. It was my party. I mean, you know, because you don't give a crap. That's why you're not upset. It doesn't matter <laughs> who, not, who you crap. hurt or who you didn't hurt. I didn't. It's a, look, no. she threw a party. I never it gave a matter. party to hurt people. I know that. Never you were trying to do a nice thing for Howard, people. and I understand that. And, then, and if you were a generous human being, right. you would say, well, that was a wonderful celebration for Howard, and stop it was. No, thinking I, about oh. yourself and what happened to you. Oh. Is that the way you're going to turn it around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Robin invited Anne-Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Not Scott. Oh. <laughs> She's never even been in the studio once. You see what I mean? Oh, what I mean. Stop <laughs> it. Delson <laughs> works very closely with Howard on, uh, you know, a number Scott of different Excuse things. Excuse me. Excuse and, me. You know, to be like honest, she's better looking you. than you, Scott. Stop trying to win. I know she's better looking, but try, try to stop. She didn't come. She's been here five she years. There. She but that's her problem. She yeah, didn't she didn't come. want to be there. And it was a last minute invitation. Well, last minute. There you go again with your last minute. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm nice enough to invite you to let. I have an By opening. For people I'm not to be busy. How, how did you feel? How did you feel? Hold on, hold For people huh? to be He didn't know what to do. He was like, what do I do? Yeah, what do I do? Want to go. Do I go? Do I throw it back Can in the face? Can I tell you say something? Can I say something? I have a tuxedo. Woo. Can I say something? Yes, please. <laughs> For people to be insulted to be invited last minute, they're wrong. Because there's only well, I, mean, I wasn't I would if there's wasn't only in that twenty seats know. if there's only twenty seats and some people can't make it at the last minute. You should be honored that someone says to you, you weren't in this position, but no, I'm honored. Like <laughs> no, you'd be honored. You say, you know what? They thought of me next, and I'll I'll go. What, 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 so what if you're invited at the last minute? It's not an insult. There's only 20 seats. What is I the person thought, supposed you know, to do? It, I wanted they, to they have would have been part of a nice night. I possibly could, but I didn't think there were certain people you could invite comfortably at the last minute, you being one of them. Right, well, the, the peons couldn't, couldn't get it. You would have liked the last you minute. You'd have been pissed still. <laughs> hey, well, you would have shown up and you'd have still been pissed. Robin booted me out of the studio just now because of Letterman. Right. I know my status. I, I didn't get it. All right, all right. I deserve well, Scott, to be yeah, If J.D. could write funny insults, call him with the business. <laughs> what is it, Mark? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, quickly. I just got to say, Scott Salem is going to kill himself at the end of this day if you guys don't intervene. It yeah. will be a crime. I was upset the whole weekend that I spent. You spent what? Just depressed. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Are you being serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you now, depressed you know every I weekend? I was seeing things this morning. I I said Scott really didn't speak to me. <laughs> no, you're dead to me. That's oh. it. <laughs> I like the fact he knows how long everyone's been here. Emory, five years. How did you get? He was there the list all weekend. Yeah, I was counting years. <laughs> yes, Connie. So, listen, I want just want to tell that bitch Robin, that big black hell. I'd rather hear Scott any day over her. Thank you. Fine. I can't stand Fine. her. Then go listen to the Scott show. The Scott show. No, he should get rid of you. <laughs> Go listen to the Scott show. He's very close to getting rid of her. <laughs> what is it, a 20-person budget? That's it? Yes, and by the way, it was beautiful and intimate. and uh, was very nice. Howard, I love you. Thank you. And and really, I'm telling you that, that she couldn't. Listen. Sometimes you say, you know what? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna invite four people to dinner. Right. And your other friends yeah. go, well, what do you mean I wasn't invited? I go, well, listen, Howard. tonight I'm having four people. But that's different. Why is it different? Why is it different? Party, this is not a station. How is it different? You, you were inviting people from the show. Obviously. Some people. Obviously. Some, people. Some, people. Some people. Why? Why? You're I mean, how do you make that distinction? 
Because but why some people? Because she ca she could not have listen. She had a guy fly in from California. She had to fly these guys. That's in from not California. my problem. I know you have no problem. No, <laughs> no, but only with you. But no, why would you have a problem with it? She could invite X amount of people. She didn't choose to invite. If she had a bigger party, she of course she would have invited you. She couldn't have a big party. I understand that. What is she going to do? Rent Taj Mahal and and throw it? Uh, if that's what it takes. Oh, but, but why don't why you do that then? Obviously, I can't do that. Well, wait, but invite us all to the bowling alley. Uh, okay. For my birthday. Let's go. I'm not coming. <laughs> all right, goodbye. You don't, you're missing the point. You're wrong. Apologize to Robert right I will now. not. Hey, he doesn't have to apologize. No, no. absolutely should. I felt slighted, and I think it would, I would, you know. Yeah, it's an outrage. It's a numbers game, Scott. I didn't even have a DJ. <laughs> it's a numbers game. Yeah, right, she I didn't wanted have to make... a DJ. She had me produce a bit for her. She didn't, she couldn't call up. I have DJs that I can hire. It doesn't have to be me. She oh, can call please. me up to get her someone right, that I, I know. All right, Scott, you've <laughs> had your piece. Yeah. You've piece. said your piece. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I see how the other a-holes don't want to come in and... Yeah, I'm sure there's a piece. list, but uh, Scott, just tell us who I'm not telling. Tell, tell. No. You're them all kind of to tell. Let's get some balls. I'm not telling. You can't telling. bring up the idea of them and then not give the name. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. oh, hallelujah. Ro Lord. Ronnie was really... Ronnie Munn. Oh, dear. I told you. I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> Listen. I told you I'm not telling you. I don't do those. <laughs> Ronnie's a great about. guy, and I consider Ronnie a great guy. And Ronnie Ronnie's and I, a friend of but mine. Ronnie and I don't socialize. No, if Ronnie saying. called me up and said, let's go to dinner, I wouldn't go. Uh, hold on. Right. Never said, I just said, all I said was, because Robin had came to me about certain things that I'd were come to going me. on at the party yes. to help her out with, okay? No problem. I never said a word to her. I was a little hurt. That was it. But I didn't carry on like he did. That's it. Ronnie? Simple. He was hurt. She's was dead, dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is she dead to you? Is she dead to you? Come here, get on mic. Is she dead? Is she dead to you? No. No, she's not dead to me, but I was hurt, that's all. A little bit. No big deal. What are you? I'm not so don't look at me. You know what? They act Because who else has Scott talked to? I don't get What is your problem with me? <laughs> <laughs> he said you, not me. What is your problem with me? Right away, it's my 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 name. My effing no, name is the I'm first name guesses. out of your mouth. I'm taking guesses. What is your problem? I was right. <laughs> was I not right? If I was wrong, you could yell at me. There's a whole list of people, okay? All right, so who else? So why is it my name first? <laughs> Can someone get security for our security? <laughs> hey, Ronnie, who else was hurt? <laughs> Casey, uh, they're Scott lining up. <laughs> they're li I, don't have, I don't have to say anything. Crazy. They're lining up. <laughs> No, I I want to say I was never once that I even think about that I was upset and Robin, that's you have a certain amount of people you want to invite. I never once I don't Scott, what are you carrying on about? You didn't get invited, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> why is that why is that a problem? You've only been there four years. Yeah. Yeah. How many years? You 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 feel that um it, it was just hurtful. It, you work with somebody for a long time, like 20 years. Yeah, but it's like a private dinner party. You, know? that, that, you, you feel that you're in on the private you dinner know how many party. Times you know? Ro Robin's taken me to dinner before. She didn't call you up and say, Scott, you should no, come. No, that's fine. What's I the mean, difference? It, there is a difference. Uh, we've had other group parties for the staff. I don't think you were there either. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. No, let, let's say we go to Mercer Kitchen. There's right. 10 no, people. I wasn't necessarily not. there. A lot of times I go to dinner. And, be, and besides, you said you never socialized with me. That's not true. Well, it scores. Years ago. Only no, scores. Years ago, we used to socialize. Yeah, but I'm not interested you in that You threw anymore. me out of the old, you know, yeah. I'm the I'm yeah, your old out. life. Okay? Yeah, you're out. I'm out. That's it. It's okay. Done. That's it. You're gone. You're still my friend, but uh, occasionally. Yeah. I'm not also, looking for you. Now, yeah. do you people recall Get out that? Of here. Sounds like he's not upset. Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have been invited by me to events before. Have you not? <laughs> yes. Always includes this one time. Well, then you wonder why, what, what happened? How come all of a sudden, the one time, if you say, as you say, I'm not invited? Because it had. To what be happened? Did I do something wrong? I mean, wasn't? No, am you I not? You know, on. like I decided Scott, not to invite do I, you. If you have do I not meet people. the criteria that you, Scott, you, if, you require to have at your parties? If you have I mean, twenty you know. people coming to something, uh, someone's got to be out. <laughs> well, obviously, she you didn't feel, play it right, but you she feel, hurt people. No, but, but why would you be hurt? Well, then the people Somebody's who were invited like okay. and got kicked out, would they have been hurt? Only she had 37, so you were... Right. <laughs> At least I know I'm maybe yeah. in the top 50. When you're inviting 37 people, Scott, <laughs> you're not from a small that. office, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there are five cancellations. <laughs> Colin, what do you think of this? You're, you're an outsider. I, I told you what I think. I think it's just a numbers game. Anytime you go to any wedding, people get pissed off. And like, you know, you got to know your place. When Robin booted me for Letterman earlier tonight, I really took it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he deserved 
All right, all right, all right. I, I got to take a break. Uh, yeah, uh, go ahead. I was just curious. Since you already said Ronnie, who else was it? I don't know. Uh, Doug Goodstein upset? He, I don't know. He, he, he came in here. I don't know. Yeah, he Scott. I, I'm sure you know some others. I, Doug, why don't you come in? Was Scott considered at all for the guest list? I would guess no. not. No, yeah, right. not at all. <laughs> He, even the cancellations, you <laughs> was Benji, there was Ratso, Anne Marie, Anne Marie. Never, even never Doug, you say your piece quickly because I do have no, to take please, a break. I thought Ronnie and John were going to fight. I'm not upset at all. It's Robin's private party. It's her decision. So be That's it. That's not what you told me. I'm not, uh, what are you? <laughs> oh, now you're lying. Did you, you, you say the other day that you would really be upset if Vinny was invited? No. What are you oh, crazy? Oh, crap. Uh, Vinny was why invited. You, why are you I lying? What? I, I, uh, you I, might have, I, now he might have said but no. I didn't say You said that. No, in your mental oh, state of mind, you're so upset, you just make things up. <laughs> you said, no, you, you said that. I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> if I said it, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, Vinny was there for the record. I don't care, it's Robin's private party. And I'm I like having Vinny there. there. And, and honestly, Scott, if it was between you and Vinny, i got to go with Vinny. Vinny and I hang out. He's the class clown. He's the ball licker, you know. He's a ball licker. He's the class clown. I could have done that. <laughs> See, now you're fun. I know how to do that, but can I say something? I am touched by how much you wanted to be at my party. <laughs> really? I... Not for you. For but him. not for me. Yeah. I, oh, that's true. So I'm not <laughs> that tough. You, you, really, you, you can give a crap. If I was, <laughs> I was happy to have a party. Sure, you had a great Believe party. Me. Yeah, you know what? Have a few friends around, a few drinks. Whether you were sitting at the table or Vinny, who cares? No, no. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I can get drunk like that. You know Arnie. what, Scott? I'll bring you a plate. And a can I tell you something, Scott? <laughs> what, to clean? Scott. You want me to lick it clean for you? Like any... you little slaves that you had to hire? If they, oh. if they uh... Oh, you angry. Oh. Yeah. If, they had, if they hadn't told me, I would have thought you were there. I don't even... Yeah. Pay All right. yeah, how much time would you have spent with Scott at the party? None. Had he been there? Zero. Yeah. And Zero. Scott, so that's why I invited him. All right. In Scott's defense, if it was about money, I could have done without the second Chardonnay. Uh. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Colin Quinn, thank you for doing that at the party. Thank you guys thank you for very coming. much. It was a it was pleasure amazing. to have you there. And it was Colin, really great. Uh, your new your new series, your new season starts. Yes, yeah, tonight. Tonight on on what is that? Comedy Central. Comedy Central. No, what time? Eleven o'clock. Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Colin Quinn show. Tough Light crowd. Plus. Tough crowd with Colin Quinn. Yeah. All, right. All right. Scott, Thanks. you're invited to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. Thanks. Scott. You were hurt, but you know what? You've been hurt throughout your whole life. And, and you should be used to it. Used to it you know what? This one did really low. He actually has hair on his head, but a big callus grew over it from being hurt. All right. We, um, we're this one hit really low. All right. All right. Scott, I'm sorry. Oh, You're in pain. Oh, my goodness. I, uh, who should I have kicked out? Mel Karmazin, maybe. He shouldn't have been there. Mel and Terry, maybe. Yeah. yeah. No. Tom. Or maybe, yeah, maybe Tom shouldn't have been there. That might not have been a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> What's your age? Doesn't mean like Tom. See, he doesn't like me either. But I'm a little more fun than Tom. Oh no, you're not. Uh, dear. All right, we're good. We're going to take a break. Thank you, Scott. For, at least you came in with your honest feeling. Thank you. Scott, the engineer, having a meltdown. A lot of hostility. Funny. That's the funniest Scott has ever been. I think well, that was a pretty good appearance. You know, if you had done that before the party, I might have invited you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. You've shown signs of life. Really <laughs> weird. be upset. Tell you off. He's a jackass. Well, he's hurt. <laughs> he's a jackass. He's hurt by you. I he... said he's out of his mind. First of all, I'll tell you what I, what I heard. <laughs> he's mad at you because going all the way back to on the air when you said he sleeps with whores. Right. That then, was the, I was drunk. Then and the, I apologize a million. Then the other day I told you it was Ross's fortieth, and you said, "Oh, he's been forty for five <laughs> years." <laughs> See, I know it gets to him. That's why I do it. He says then, that you never miss a moment if his name comes up on the air. No matter how could say, "Oh, I was with Ross." Robin name. is like that with the, like guys who are my friends. Yeah. Like she used to do, be that way with Neil, and she used to be with that way with Wayne, and then minute. she becomes excuse friends with them. Excuse me. Excuse so me. So tell him there's hope. <laughs> I love Ross. I does not know that. I try to tell him that every time I see then, him. You didn't, and then he's, him. he's really mad you didn't invite him to the birthday party. I know. I know. All right. But listen, I I don't think you were wrong in the sense that I, I love just, Ross. But I, I, you know what? I, I did limit it, and I didn't go into certain areas of your life and invite people. You had a limited number of people you could invite. Hey, can I add one more thing? Yeah. You, uh, he invited you to both his Halloween and his birthday party, and you didn't even respond. I didn't get an invitation to the birthday party. Yeah, you, uh, somebody left a message for you somewhere. 
But I I've never was, even heard about it. I was you were like, oh, he stopped inviting me. No, he invited you. Oh, and I, you didn't respond. I didn't. I didn't get the invitation. But you, you know what? In all fairness, you know, I'm having a party, mm -hmm. and I made sure to invite Scott, the engineer. Uh huh. And Scott, the other day, comes in all upset. He wasn't invited. He can't believe it. He contacted Laura. Scott! He sent it to his old address. Uh. And I, I, I'm and Anne Marie and Laura. I'm having a meeting with them. I, I, someone's got to update my addresses in my, yeah, my book. But you know what? These guys. I tell you something. You want it. These guys move and they don't tell anybody. Well, right. wait a second. Anne Marie knows he moves. She's on top of that stuff. I mean, and every year, every year, what I want once a year is so, a new update. It's a purging. You call someone on my list and you say, "Do you have any changed information?" Or we make a card. Just fill out the card. Right. You send out a little form. Yeah. And then the other guy, Cabby. Cabby hasn't lived in Queens in years. I invited him. And I didn't hear back from him, which I thought was weird. Dude. And Cabby, I said to Cabby this morning, I, I got a feeling you weren't, uh, he goes, I don't know anything about this. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened to Ross's invitation to me. He I says he left you a message at a 212 number, which I don't believe you have a 212 number. I do not. have a 212 number. Left you a message there and never responded for both parties. Mr. Rex on top of that? I'll have to ask him because... You might have to fire him. <laughs> He's diverting my messages. I want to hear Ross confront you. Oh, that's silly. I wish you'd do it right that's here. so silly. I'll get him on a horn. He, he I, was... You know what? I've been informed now that he's upset with me for about two weeks. Here's my prediction. He's gonna you get him on the phone right now. He'll pussy out. He won't. He won't give it to her. Right. He can't. No. But it's so silly. He's gonna pussy right out. I he's, he's like I'm like how could he be that sensitive? Every time we see each other, we have a fine time together. How does he think I hate him? Ah, come on, you're just as sensitive as he is. If he got on the radio and said, you've been 40 for five years. I would did, laugh. And then didn't that invite you. That would be a compliment you, to me. Didn't invite you to certain things. And then you call. You said, if invited, someone said you slept with whores, you'd be pissed. Excuse me. I'm just explaining it to you. Excuse me. I have invited him to a lot of things. Have I not? He's going to give it to you. Have I not? Don't argue with me. I have no problem with you. He acts as if I've never invited him to anything. He says he's going to give it to you. I heard this. I said, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever You're heard. You're in for it. I hate him. Oh. Right. You're not acknowledging that he thinks you hate him. Uh, well, uh, what am I supposed what to do? What happened? I'm having trouble getting him on the phone. See, he's running. But, he's running he, scared. But the, other <laughs> is, the other thing is, 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 it's not even just that you said he slept with whores and that he's 40 again. It's Howard could say, I saw Ross this weekend, and immediately something negative comes out of your mouth. That's how he sees it. That's crazy. Well, so you should see it. I'll tell you what, though. I remember when he had his fight with Booger's girlfriend, Linda Lopez, and he gave it to her. Well, come on, bring it on. I want to see him give it to you. <laughs> if you want to have some real fun, you should go down the list <laughs> of the people at the birthday party if you want to see who he thinks he should have been in front of. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good conversation. I'm sure. Oh, he, oh, oh. What? I'm going to stay out of this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, Ross. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I heard you want to. Very subdued. How are you? You don't pussy out now. If you got something to say to Robin, say it. Go ahead. Uh, you know, I, I get the sense that. Uh, wow. Well, you know what? I hate no, Robin. No, that's not how I'll you want to the chase. Cut what? to the chase. I'll cut to the chase. I, 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 every time you talk about me, or you, you just have something to say, and it's 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 negative, it's derogatory, and I don't know what I ever did to you, but it seems like you have a beef with me. Well, give me examples. All right, it's back to the at the drunk show about two years ago when you made that comment, and then you put behind, oh, I was drunk, I didn't mean that. And I've never said it again, so it was a drunk thing, right? And I apologize profusely. And then the other day, uh, you know, when I hit the big 4-0, you go, 40? He looks way older than 40. I said that when Richie turned 40. Well, Richie lied about his age. I didn't. <laughs> but you, I'm saying, Robin, this is, these are normal Robin, jokes I tell. If you hit him with anything with a bald spot, he'll go berserk. I know, and I see, I, I've never done that. And in fact, I I'm told, just saying, in case it gets, it, it gets too rough, hit him. <laughs> that was a horrible <laughs> thing he used to do. And I never piled in on that, Ross. Ross, have you ever slept with a whore? Never in my life. Well, what do you, you call go. a whore? They made a dance for me. <laughs> <laughs> Might have had a few lap dances. All right, go ahead. What? Do you have any other beef, or are you pussying out? I'm not pussying out. I brought, I, it, and then, you know, I guess I, I will bring it up, and I don't want to involve you in it because it was your big day, but I, I took it a little personal that I uh, wasn't invited to the party. Who do, who do you think that you should have? Where, yeah, did I invite somebody that you think, well, how come that person got invited and not me? I don't want to go down the whole list. Yeah, go ahead. Who, Ratso? Okay, Ratso. Okay. 
uh, business associate. Okay, I, I felt, and I know there's a history there, but I don't want to turn this into that, but Dominic, I mean, you know, he's friends and we're friends. Uh, yeah, well, Dominic's a little closer to me than you are. Oh, so it's about you and then Howard. No, it's just that I know Howard really likes Dominic, and I like Dominic. Okay. I, look, I, I do I, like, I, I, can I say something, though? I do like Ross better than Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? If I hadn't invited Dominic, I, my life would be a lot worse. I got a good. All right, that's, Dominic but that's would make me much more miserable. Right. I got a good example of one that I bet stung. What? Booker and Linda. Yes. Yeah. Booker and Linda stung, right? Yeah, I mean, you know. Uh, you know what, Ross? How, how did? Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! They they were. I think they were hurt. Because they were a last-minute invite. By the way, Booger's on ET, and Linda is uh, the sister of J Lo. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> that didn't work, figure so I got into my, my, <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding with you. That didn't figure into my uh, selection. Ha but they were a very last-minute invite. They were called like the day before the party. And even at that, Ross still wasn't on that list. Exactly. You were on that list. Not enough oh, to get in the right. party. You look. After Rachel would have canceled too, then I would have got invited. What? Right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> probably not. Rachel was last minute. Linda and Booker. Were but why? Last here's minute. the one I know that bugs Ross. All right. Why Benji over him? Benji again. <laughs> I right. decided to invite everybody who sits in the studio. <laughs> the day before. Ross, in all fairness, Benji can I defend you? Before. In all fairness, Ross, you were on the uh, next week list. If no, the party no, had been snowed out. No, no, no. But how did it but, Let me. But, all right, I, I'll take the blame for this. I'll be the bad guy. I'm you sorry. kept getting knocked off the list by other people. But, but Robin, it, I'm honestly, sorry. I know, you were always honestly, on the list, and you kept just no, but you, the changing. You, you said, no, don't push me out. I'm not going to push you out. I think that was the culmination of me realizing that you had a, a, a beef with me. So it, it's that, that's just, oh, Wait it's, a minute. That was the culmination of me. Personally, I think it's because you're Jewish. Right. Is he Jewish? Oh, I don't even know. Semitic, huh? Okay. What? You're anti Semitic. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Why? Howard was there. See, look, I have a question for you, Howard. Who, is, you. who introduced after. you to. Uh, <laughs> Well, see, that's it. Who, who introduced you to Booker and Linda? Booker, I know Booker from the radio. The radio station. Ross introduced me to Booker and Linda? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I could say it's not. No. I know Booker from yeah. radio. I didn't realize you were this sensitive. I'll stop saying anything about you. But you told me two years ago. You keep it going. No, I'm sorry. I thought we had gotten over it. I, I, obviously, you're still hurt, and I'll just leave you alone. And are you to me, yeah, no problem. He also wants to know why they ignore on the parties. What parties? The ones he keeps inviting you to that you don't respond to. The uh, Halloween party, I was out of town, and I didn't get a chance to call you that. Oh, that, that was, was rude. Wrong. That was wrong. That was wrong. I did not get an invitation. I didn't know you had invited me to your birthday party. I didn't. Uh, I guess my whistle left your message, but I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I don't know what happened to it. I'll have to find out, but I did not get that message. Well, there you have it. Very painful. And I'm sorry. I didn't know uh, you were that sensitive. I thought it was like you understood that I just rib you a little bit. Oh, it's a piece of tedious and sorry. No, 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 no. I'm leaving you alone. No, now she's yeah. angry at you. Now you, now you, well, I won't have anything. You should have brought it up. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Ross. Thank you. Hey, guys. Bye. It's Ross Sapin, my friend. That doesn't get invited. No, it doesn't get invited. Hey, weren't you at last, wait a minute. You, yes, you yes, little yes. Oh, bastard. Here we go. Didn't you come to last year's birthday party for Howard that I threw? Yes. And guess who you knocked off the list? Oh, great. Who? Gary and Mary. And do you know, Gary was nicer to me about it. He was hurt, and I didn't tell him you knocked him off the list. Okay. Pay back the bitch, I guess. Thank I mean, but do I get any credit or props for that? No. I hate you. What? I'll send you some flowers. Oh, please. I hate you. Thank you. Hey, there you go. You said it. No, you're letting that's her, what you're saying. You're letting her turn it around now. But it's the truth. He, he only thinks about what he doesn't get to do. He doesn't think about all the things he does get to do. Uh, but, but, Bob, honestly, I, I know you want, we'll, we'll end it at this. I, honestly, it's, it, it, the, the, the feeling I had was not because I wasn't invited to the party. I, that was part of it. But I, I sit there and go back, okay, I wasn't invited, why? And then you make the comment the other day about the first day. Then you make the comment at the drunk show. Yes, but you and see, that's all in your head. For me. 
No, nah, come on. You, you made a bunch of comments head. about the guy. I like Ross. Why would I rib him if I didn't He's like him? He's feeling hurt. Do I? Uh, please. You're, you're just crazy.